It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Hi, Kieran. Hello, Tony. I see that you're reading the official Toys R Us comic adaptation of X-Men the movie. You would be correct. Wow, wow. It, what a coincidence. Today, we're reviewing X-Men the movie. Oh, what? I thought we were we were reviewing a, a, a completely different movie and uh, not that. Nope, we're reviewing X-Men the movie. And uh, it's a pretty fun time to talk about this movie. Uh, I mean, this isn't an anniversary or anything, but we found out this year that Patrick Stewart is coming back as Professor X for the third time. <laughs> I, he's, he's died twice now, and now he's back. He will be in- uh, Did he die that first time? He- How he, did he come back, actually? Oh, oh, you, you have Why to- Why don't I remember? I know X-Men 3 is pretty bad, and a lot of people tuned it out. He exploded. The, yes, but they, they established earlier in the film that there is a uh, a pa there's a patient in the hospital who has no higher brain functions and he's been like that since birth, and and Patrick Stewart he's all like or Professor X is like would it be ethical for someone to transfer their conscience into this person, <laughs> and then the post credit sequence of X Men three is Patrick Stewart waking up in that guy's body so it's implied that Professor X always had a twin brother who was brain dead since birth, and just being kept on life support. So when he died, he put his body. I thought it was the same dude. Huh? I thought it was the same dude. Like if he was talking about like a so, dude being on like a. No, that was his brother. So oh, the hospital's sure. been keeping this guy alive for since, no reason since for... birth. And the nurse is Moira McTaggart, Ugh. who is who is Scottish. Yeah. Until we I see her. I thought she was from Ireland. Or Irish. Yeah. Until we see her in X Men First Class. Tony, look, I, <laughs> I understand you get upset at me using Ba Fangula all the time, but uh, don't take the Irish X Men characters away from us, please. I also, not. comparing Irish and Scottish people, that's racist. Yeah, it's pretty. Like, well, you know, I have a lot of. I have Scottish family members, yeah. too. But me, too. But they're right on the border. That's a Seinfeld quote. Not really. No, they're uh, not. They're not <laughs> when Scott, when, si when land, Jerry, actually. when Jerry and George are in the limo with the Nazis, and he's pretending to be Irish, but he does a Scottish accent. Oh he's yeah. Like, oh, and he's God. like, "We're right on the border." <laughs> That's a great episode. That is a great O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was like, you know what, Professor X is coming back. Let's go back and look at. I'm parched. <laughs> <laughs> if only had a Queen <laughs> Amidala. <laughs> um, it's not the correct cup. I can't drink out of it damn anymore. It. So. Uh, I figured it'd be fun to go back and wa uh, watch and review the original X-Men, which we wanted to do years ago in rental reviews. Yeah. And I think at one point, hmm. we almost reviewed this movie with David Hayter, the screenwriter. Yeah, but, you know. 2020 happened. Some sort of thing happened. Something happened in 2020 that prevented that, that from happening. the entire world from being the world. Yeah, and instead of reviewing the movie with the screenwriter, we're reviewing it with Johanna. Hi. <laughs> yeah, 2020 ruined a lot of things. So... It's Actually, so, I'd rather do it with Johanna and the screenwriter. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm, I don't want to. Well, hello. How's this for a for a guest in the episode? Since Patrick Stewart's coming back, I invited him to do the episode with us. Now I know you're no, wearing, no, 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 Karen, Karen, Karen. I know when we invite these actors from superhero films. Do you have a helmet? No, no, no. It's gonna be fine. They get Thank a, God I'm in this seat this time. They, yeah, get, well, a, they get a you, little you, carried you away. Set me up. <laughs> look, look. They get a little carried away, these actors. They start to think they are. The, I mean, we've seen the death of Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Topher Grace, Tom Holland, Tom, uh, Hardy. Tom Hardy, and most recently, Robert Pattinson. Uh, Italian Spider-Man. An Italian, no, no, no Japanese, Japanese Spider-Man. Spider Thank God I Sorry. missed Robert Pattinson. So, yes, so we have nothing to worry about because Patrick Stewart in the movie, he's just always calmly wheeling through a wheelchair so he's not going to do anything crazy and patrick stewart's a smart uh mature wise person he knows better than to pull stunts like that hey guys i think i hear him rolling in right now wow he really Really got carried away there, didn't he? Uh, well, uh, Jess, we have another one. Can you get rid of it? I'm getting tired of this. Jess, can can you get? Thank you, Jess. You never even cleaned up these. Yeah, I wouldn't have a big problem if he just didn't keep stockpiling Wait. dead bodies every time. Well, where else am I gonna put them? 
You know, I've tried to call people and see if they dig me like a seven foot I was, long damn, hole. I was gonna say, maybe you ought to call the pizza people, see if they'll dig you some holes, but you can fill it. <laughs> That's an inside joke. A local pizzeria, maybe block out their name. A local pizzeria owner murdered her husband and then went around asking people to dig a hole for her <laughs> and then also to get as, rid of the skunk smell. So, as, as Tara said to me uh, later or earlier, uh, I wonder why that woman killed her pizza partner and I <laughs> fucking died. So the anyway, idea of a pizza partner. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, excellent. <laughs> uh, well, Patrick Stewart's dead. That's a bummer. Yeah. But look on the bright side. No Picard season three. We're spared. Now, let's talk about the X-Men movie in honor of Patrick Stewart's legacy. <laughs> Do you like X-Men? Did you like X-Men growing up? I love the cartoon. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I love the X-Men. X-Men was awesome. X-Men was awesome. Uh, I think I like that even more than the Spider-Man cartoon. Growing yeah. Up. I, so I like the Spider-Man cartoon, but more because... It had everybody. Yeah. But the X-Men cartoon was, of course, really the first. I think the X-Men cartoon told better stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was also the first introduction. A lot of people, other than Spider-Man or the Hulk. Yeah. Most people, or Captain America, which you you, know, you, you didn't have cartoons of those really. Yeah, uh, they, they like popped up in other people's cartoons. Yeah. Well, no, Hulk had a cartoon. They Only did, one good way, season. But later. Yeah, you know, later, like, later. X-Men was the first one that really you know, it kicked off. It was literally it was, like Spider-Man and X-Men were the top Marvel yeah. cartoons. Yeah, and it was right after animated series, I think, too. Batman, the animated series, and then X-Men. No, it was, no, it was like around the, the same, 1992. Yeah. So it yeah, came out like around the same oh, was time. It? Okay. Yeah, uh, which they've since continued the story in a comic, X-Men 92. Aren't they also like, they're making a show of it? Yeah, I was going to say, are yeah, they making another they show? Are. Like, I want them to do one for Spider-Man because that ended I on a cliffhanger. I wish they could like finish out because we yeah. don't know where Mary Jane is. Well, we the the writer has since come out and said where she is, oh, but they never she, got around wait, it. Wasn't they were just going to find her in another dimension? Or no, something? she was, was going to go back in time to like old England or something like that. Weird. Yeah. So anyway, huh. uh, I was super excited for this movie when it was coming out. Me too. Like this is a big deal. So like Blade had just coming out, come mm -hmm. out and that was a character people weren't really familiar with and yeah. it was awesome. So it was like, oh, now they're doing that with a character I know. And this is like after like the Batman series has kind of gone down the downhill. Hmm. Uh, and there was kind of like a lack of like big superhero stuff. Mm -hmm. The superhero stuff you were getting was like steel. Yeah, exactly. Shit like that. Uh, so yeah, Blade everyone... was only because of the Spider-Man cartoon. I only knew about Blade. Yeah, yeah, same. Um, that's also how I knew about Morbius. Mm -hmm. Me we're, too. We're filming this before I shoot the Morbius did, review, but this will come out after see, the uh, Morbius review. Not to like, but did you see that that thing someone posted on Twitter where it's like? Their car window was smashing. Yeah. It says, he cares about <laughs> everybody. I had uh, I had two tickets to Morbius on my front seat, and someone smashed my window and Let left four, four more. more. <laughs> <laughs> so at the time this comes out, our Mo Morbius review is already out, and I, you know what, I I'm gonna wager a bet that me and Crystal love the movie. I bet you twenty dollars you're gonna hate it. <laughs> you're gonna so, come back Morbius. and be like, I've never laughed so hard. <laughs> so. Much like Spider-Man, this movie, this had a very long development. I'm not going to go into too much detail because none of the previous like scripts are as goofy as the Spider-Man ones were mm -hmm. with Wiener. Was that his yeah, name? Wiener. Was it Wiener was like <laughs> the, the character's the, name? The best friend of Dr. Octopus. Yeah, Professor Octopus. <laughs> Professor uh, Octopus. Yeah, so there's different uh, versions. They range between... <laughs> so James Cameron was working on one. Oh, and X-Men? Yes. Oh, uh, and then he got convinced to work on Spider-Man. Neither of them got made. I think his version, they showed like concept art and he was using like Mel Gibson as a reference for Wolverine. Um, yeah, some point. Bob, I could see that. Someone Rick. said Bob Hoskins was wanted as Wolverine. Really? Because he was short. Well, I know, but yeah. He would have had to like huh. thin down a little bit. Um, He's a little too old, I think. At the time? Yeah. Bob Hoskins? Well, at the time they were going to make it, it was probably like early 90s. So it still probably would have made okay. sense. But. Yeah, he would not have been he would not have been Wolverine for long when mm -hmm. he saw like where Bob Hoskins went. Um I guess like, maybe Super Mario Brothers style Bob Hoskins. <laughs> Get him like ripped. Yeah, that'd ripped be awesome. Ripped ass Bob Hoskins. <laughs> uh yeah, so they wanted him as that uh the directors Robert Rodriguez and Paul W.S. Anderson were offered this film, both turned it down. You know, Paul W.S. Anderson if he went on X-Men instead of fucking you know, then he would have then we would have had the most ridiculous stupid x-men series of all at least, time i feel like they would have wolverine at least, is psychic at least they would have looked like the x-men a little early on because <laughs> yeah. you look at mortal kombat say what you will it's like well That's it looks true. like them 
Um, yeah, so... Wolverine fights the nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> Paul W.S. Anderson turned it down because he didn't want to do another PG-13 action film. He okay. went. He wanted to do uh, Ben Horizon. I don't know why Rodriguez turned it down. This would have been a big Honestly, movie for him in the 90s. Robert Rodriguez doing it would have been badass, I think, yeah. if he did it. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, just like when they gave him Book of Boba Fett and it was badass. When he did that? Oh, I saw where they're like spinning around and stuff. Yeah, I, I was fine one, with the spin. I was fine with the spin. The Everything else was pretty yeah. stupid. I still haven't watched Book of Boba Fett. You're okay. Uh, so I Brian like Singer. Just watched the two I don't, last episodes. I don't give a shit about Star Wars anymore. Same. Uh, well, no, we love Phantom Menace. Uh, I like the first, the original three. Why are you? You're drinking that so weird. It's a big bottle. Who drinks their water like this? Uh, who are you getting that from? Someone you admire? Yeah, Donald Trump. Let's I drink my on. water like la, 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 like that. <laughs> so <laughs> Brian Singer Lap was like a cat. <laughs> Brian Singer was offered Alien Resurrection from Fox, uh, but the co-writer of this film, uh, Tom DeSanto, he told him like, "Hey, don't do that. Let's do X Men." He was hesitant, and he's like, "Hey, there's themes of prejudice and whatnot in here." And Brian Singer is a gay man, so he like connected with a lot of that stuff. Important note, guys. Brian Singer was never convicted of anything. So if you bring up anything, I'm looking at you. Make sure to say allegedly. I don't want to get sued. Uh, <laughs> allegedly. A cuties fan. Say cuties fan and say allegedly a cuties fan. God uh, damn it. You want the show to go down? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that movie? Huh? His favorite movie. Fucking cuties. Remember when everybody was flipping a shit over that movie? Yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. his Twitter feed during that? What happened? Oh, <laughs> Is that movie still on Netflix and shit? I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to review it, Karen, just ask. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> kind of creeps me out. So Richard Donor ended up producing this with his wife, who okay. Brian Singer was a big fan of because he loved his Superman movies. And of course, that would lead to Superman Returns. Uh, yeah. Donner? And then David Hayter is credited as the solo screenwriter. Yeah. Uh, but he is not Which, the solar screen. Writer. That's the crazy thing about like David Hayter was like when I first found that out, I'm like, wait, like Solid Snake David Hayter. And then he was also in Guyver, uh, Guyver 2. OK, yeah. Which if you've never seen Guyver 2, it's awesome. It's yeah. like it's like Power Rangers, but with gore. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. And it's Guyver based on 1's a, pretty good. It's based on an, off an anime about it's called Bio Booster Armor Guyver. Yeah. And it's about this guy who has like this this alien thing. That creates bio armor around yeah. him and he becomes the guy. Spoiler. Intrigued. It's Spoiler, awesome. Spoiler. If you get Guyver 1, some of the covers are a lie. Mark Hamill is not the Guyver. Yeah, he's not. They the make Giver. it look like he's the Guyver. He yeah. turns into a grasshopper man. Oh, if, if you want, I have Guyver 2 on VHS. I'll let you borrow. Sure. It's really good. Sure. You really it's should awesome. check out Guyver yeah. 1, yeah. though, to see Mark Hamill turn into a grasshopper. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sure. It's pretty brutal. It <laughs> is. You don't need to see Guyver 1 to get Guyver. Guyver 2 is the good one. Guyver yeah. 1 is a bit weird, but yeah. it's, you, it's fine, but it's awesome. So the actual co writers of the film, well, there was a. Part of the script was written by Christopher McQuarrie, who worked with Brian Singer, who now does the Mission Impossible films. And then there's elements from a draft from Ed Solomon, who took his name off the film. Ed Sullivan, like, really big shoe. No, Ed really Solomon. <laughs> he apparently took his name off the script because it was too different, and he has since regretted it because the movie did so well. Wow. <laughs> and it's like, well, I, I would have kept my name on that. that I don't sucks. know. Uh, and then famously, uh, Do Gray Scott was cast as... Wolverine. Who's Do Gray Scott? Do Gray Scott, uh, do I have it? Is the bad guy in Mission Impossible 2. And he got injured on the set of he signed a multi-picture deal with Fox to be Wolverine. He got injured on the set of Mission Impossible 2 and they had to delay filming. So they were like, uh-oh, we don't have a Wolverine. Oh, Who's man. next in line? And they auditioned uh Hugh Jackman, who did really, really well. Yeah. And they were like, hey, guess what, Hugh? You're now Wolverine. But that's okay, guys. Do Gray Scott ended up being in the superhero thing. He's the dad in Batwoman. I have not seen either that or Mission Impossible 2. Mission Impossible 2, the one with Limp Biscuit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mission Impossible 2 is the worst and one. And the glasses. Yeah. Mission Impossible yeah. 2 is the worst one, but ironically, my favorite. You can get the glasses <laughs> at Taco Bell back yes, in 1999, yeah. I think it was, or Jesus something like that. Christ. <laughs> and one last bit of uh, behind the scenes stuff here. Uh, the, now, this movie was missing some characters that people really liked mm -hmm. beast nightcrawler uh and places like the danger room they all had to be removed from the script before it got greenlit because they were deemed like just too hard to pull off they didn't want to do all the practical like, like they're like look you got one blue lady one green guy one hairy guy 
we're not doing really green green. We're, we're not doing. They're yeah. like they're like. Look, we're not doing two blue people and one hairy blue person. We're not doing those. <laughs> so they had to cut those out of the script. So uh, Beast medical background got merged with Jean Grey. Uh, Jubilee and Kitty Pride were cut out. Jubilee's in the movie. Yeah, okay, right? okay. So Jubilee, Pyro, and Kitty Pride. They were cut out as main characters. They yeah. remain in the film but as cameos. But they have a scene, yeah. yeah. And they mentioned Kitty, uh, not by name, but um, when the senator, right? It was a senator, right? No, you see Kitty One Pride. One girl could walk through walls. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I got a funny senator thing Kelly. about that. Uh, so they were reduced. Senator, they were you. reduced <laughs> to just bit parts. Yeah. Um, There's the part where he's like, the guy's like, oh, look at me, I can make a weird fire, and then Iceman freezes yeah. the fire yes. somehow, and then he goes, hey. My name's Iceman. It's like, no, it isn't. Your name is Which is funny because I just, Bobby. Yeah. I just Bobby, watched, whatever. I just watched that actor in a movie that came out a year or two later in the movie Frozen about the people uh, who get stuck on the ski lift. So Iceman is- Why would he do like ice? They're like, well, I'm typecast. I'm in ice movies now. Like, that's all I can do. You that look like a guy who would be though. icy. Huh? That movie's disturbing. When you know what? I rewatched it recently, and I'm like, I remember seeing this movie when I was younger. Why haven't I rewatched that? Oh, they're like, stuck on like a chairlift. Yeah, yeah ski lift. So it's like the, it's like deep water or whatever. Kind of like a little bit, but before and that, there's wolves. Gotcha. That come but then I was just oh, like, at, like 30 minutes of the movie, I'm like, oh, that's why I haven't rewatched this movie. It gives me a lot of anxiety. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, so yeah, all those characters were cut out. Uh, Beast, his, like I said, the medical thing was given to Jean, and oh, then a lot it. of traits from Kitty Pride and Jubilee were given to Rogue, so she kind of like merged okay. into one. Well, yeah, so that's the thing is this is basically like almost like a retelling of the Pride of, of Kitty or whatever. Yeah, Pride like, of the X Men. Pride of the X Men, the f- original first the, the, episode. The pilot, uh, which has the greatest theme song of all time, where it's like X Men, <laughs> like it's so ridiculous. And Wolverine's Australian, I yeah. think. Howdy. Kid stays here, she'll just get in the way. He's like, oi, I'm Wolverine. And his claws make the worst sound ever. They sound like a rusty gate, and every time he pops his claws, it makes me shiver. Wait till I get my claws on him. He'll be talking out the other side. It's horrible, and he's he's Australian. But the theme song for Pride of the X-Men, it it's way better than Play the, the one song. we got. It's better than the one we got. Okay, and not so, by better, I just mean it's way more hilarious. So there's our little bit of background. Let's, uh, oh, another thing about this movie. This is like one of the first DVDs I've ever owned. You know what I had? What? X-Men 1.5. Which we have right there. Which comes with the ticket. But that came out a few years later. It came with the ticket to X-Men 2, which yes. I used to get into <laughs> X-Men 2 the day it came out. So this was, this is like, I'm never getting rid of this DVD for two reasons. One, this is like the most amazing DVD in 2000 that you could yeah. get. Yeah. Uh, it looks no like you're, um, what are you doing? Oh, the ticket's not in there. Now nah, I got a thrift store, so it's not in there. Um, Shame. so when you turn this on, it makes it look like you're going into Cerebro and it had the cool menus and shit. Yeah. And it was really, really awesome. And it came, this is like the first time I saw like a director's cut on DVD. Like mm-hmm. they insert the unfinished scenes into the actual movie. That's the thing too, the, the tape. Yeah. You have it here, but The I, tape, they put it at the yeah, end. And the DVD, the they end. actually had, there's an option to watch it. It was just weird that a tape had special features. Yeah. Me. I was like, and that was actually, I got that for my 14th birthday because <laughs> I didn't get the PlayStation 2 yet. Yeah. So my 14th birthday was like, I got X Men on VHS, and then then you know later in the month I got a PlayStation Two. So now I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck VHS. <laughs> I could have got the, but I still have my tape of X Men yeah. from when I. And another 14. reason I love this DVD is uh, Look how shiny it is. Yeah, it's very shiny. I have uh, Tyler Maine's autograph uh, as Sabretooth, and I remember I got this in like I want to believe 2006. That's awesome. And when I got his autograph, I said to him like, Hey, man. I know they're remaking Halloween and you're Michael Myers in it. And that's one of my favorite movies. Promise me it won't suck. And Tyler Maine said, no, it's going to be awesome. So Tyler Maine's a liar. 
<laughs> he's probably like, he's probably in his mind. He's like, I'm really glad I kept my promise to that, to that Italian kid. I <laughs> that met little that one boy. Time. <laughs> and uh, Jessica, I will try to and find you the you're picture. You're trashing him 14 years yeah. later or whatever. I will try to find you the picture of me, my friend Anthony, and Tyler Maine all making saber tooth motions. <laughs> God. Um, so yeah, I saw it in theaters with, with all my friends. We loved it. You saw it in theaters. I saw it in theaters. Wasn't it great? Did it change your life? I mean, it made me like comic book movies again. Yeah, yeah. Not that I didn't like Batman because I was still a kid, so I like I didn't know better. But I, I was know, like, wow, this isn't actually just stupid goofy. This is actually good. <laughs> I know, yeah. you love the nipples on those suits, but let's get into oh, the movie. I do. Uh, so this is the era of crazy CGI openings. We talked yeah. a little bit about it in Spider-Man, where it's just like, it's. I don't even know what the hell we're it's supposed like, to be looking at, like the genomes yeah, and DNA. Whatever, it's cool. And the theme music is great. Like it, it's yeah, awesome. Oh my god! I love yeah. it. The song, like the intro song. Yeah, to this, it when sounds. When I first saw it in theaters, I had. Sh I'm getting actual like. Yeah. Shivers thinking about. So the music it. in this, this and then the theme in the second one's even better, and it sounds similar, but it sounds like it sounds kind of like the da -na 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 -na, yeah. but like a little diff different mm -hmm. enough. Um, yeah, and nothing says exciting, fun opening to your action film like the Holocaust. Dude, it was so jarring when I saw this as a kid. I'm just like, cool! Super Holocaust! Yeah, well, at first, at first no. I, thought, I thought I was in a, in the wrong movie for a second. And I was like, wait, no, yeah. the intro was talking about mutation. Do they mess up? Like, I'm like, why is this like, and it's like disturbing. And then when you see, you know, yeah. what happens. Yeah. Like, like, you get oh. it. Like, you know what's being set up yeah. here, whatever, but it's still I like, think oh, it's a God. really good opening. Uh, fun fact! Magneto's dad, I acted with him in a short film. It was called Kung Fu Springa. It was about Amish people who do <laughs> Kung Fu. Wow, Tony, you're like one of those dudes like J.K. Simmons, who's in also the DC Universe and in the Marvel Universe, kind of, but not really in either. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was cool to say that I, I, I'm I in a thing with that guy who's who plays a bit part in this movie. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Is it in the Marvel Universe? No, Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Springa is not in the Marvel Universe. It's on YouTube. You can check it out. I'm blonde. That's when I dyed my hair blonde. Oh God! Yeah. So I dyed my hair blonde yeah, the and frosted first, tips. And he, no, he fried his hair. I like, fried my hair. Shit. At first, I made it way too blonde. So then I darkened it. And I, they told me I could just use a wig. And I'm like, no, I want it to look good. And then there were scheduling <laughs> conflicts. So for <laughs> three months, I just had blonde hair. And toward the end, it was like brown and blonde. And then I dyed it all black. But then the black faded. So for a while, my hair had bits of blonde and brown and black. It was awful. I had to like cut it really short and start oh over again. Oh my God. <laughs> you probably looked like a member of Crazy Town. <laughs> <laughs> so Magneto is separated from his parents. Yeah. And he's crying. Uh, and then he bends the metal gate. Yeah. Uh, and that part's awesome. Because yeah, you're like, oh, like I pulling. know that. That's Magnet Guy. That's what I said in the theaters. Magnet Guy. <laughs> Out loud, you were that shitty him, child. Uh, my mom yeah. used to call him Magneto. <laughs> like, mom, it's Magneto. <laughs> God, mom. <laughs> You're saying mom wouldn't take you to Spider-Man? Did Same she take you to would, this? No, she did take me. Okay, good. She did eventually take, oh, no, no, no. My friend's mom took me to Spider-Man, but my mom was not going to take me to Spider-Man. Did you rub that in her face? No, actually, like, Jimmy's uh, mom took me to Spider-Man. <laughs> my, my she grandma, loves me. <laughs> my grandma took me to see this, but I right. saw it by myself. Mm. Uh, and I got the trading card when you went and saw it the day it came out. Nice. It was nice. Friday morning. <clears throat> it was fun. So uh, then we cut ahead to the not too distant future with Rogue and her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, and she almost goes against God uh, and attempts to stop being abstinent. But luckily, God intervenes and She's makes kiss her. Him. And makes her touch. No, she was going to do more. And makes her touch poisonous so she can remain chaste. And then I clapped in the theater. <laughs> no, her X Men power is <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> She absorbs people's life force. <laughs> yeah, but if you're a mutant, she also gets a little bit of your back, a little bit of your powers. But we don't have that yet. Uh, but yeah, she's like all excited to go on this adventure with her boyfriend, and then she puts him in a coma. Yeah, so that's pretty sad. I think it's foreshadowing that she was talking about going to cold places, and then later she gets a cold boyfriend. Oh. I don't. I don't <laughs> I think, maybe she's really no, I think, yeah, That's no, her kink. <laughs> Joanna, that that's cold. why she kissed him. She's like, I know this is going to fuck him up. I'm going to do it anyway because he's not cold enough for me. No. The, wanting to go to cold places 
Gives her an excuse to be in Canada to meet Wolverine. Do it's you not think s- no? That's true too. <laughs> she wants no. Cold she you dick. know wait no. She met him in Anchorage though. That was in that was in uh, Alaska. She wasn't. He, well, she had to go through she, she Canada. Wasn't in Canada. She wasn't in Canada when she met Wolverine though. Also, I just thought about this. Why doesn't Iceman just put a layer of ice over his lips so when he makes out with Rogue, she like he can feel it, but she can't. And she's into the cold touches. stuff, so it's perfect. Yeah, so okay, it's no, like, I'm calling. Oh my god, he can make. A I'm calling penis. bullshit. He can I'm, make a weird cold condom. I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> Listen, uh, because women hate the cold, and they always complain about being cold. So that's uh, why. Have you not seen the Twilight craze? They were putting their dildos in the freezer, and using them. What? That's a thing? Because they're cold. They do it with the, the, the Twilight stuff, too. Twilight? Why Twilight? Oh, because he's or a vampire. Twilight, Twilight and, and True Blood. The fuck? Yeah, speaking of True Blood, and it's cold. speaking like of True Blood, Rogue is True played Blood. by Anna Paquin. She was 16 uh, during Wouldn't that this be movie? like sticking 16 your, and had like, already won an Oscar. If you stick your tongue on like a pole, isn't that like the same thing, but like your entire vaginal wall? Can, you know. can we please just, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so Anna Paquin, uh, Academy Award winning actress, Anna Paquin, who won yeah. it when she was eight years old for yep. the piano. She was also uh, in Fly Away Home. Yeah, remember that? Oh yeah, the I, lo- yeah. I, lo- I love that movie and it made me want geese. Hmm. And then I was a child. Did you know that the original title for that movie was The Goose is Loose? Anyway, I went to the pond and I was like, maybe I could befriend these geese and they're just nasty. No, geese are not No, friendly. they're they're not, no. Yeah, geese are assholes. This movie so was false see, advertising. So we see Jean Grey played by Femke Jensen. Yum. Femke Jensen. Who uh, we've talked about previously on the show in yes, we uh, have. Goldeneye. Uh, Zenia, and we talked top. about it on the House on Haunted Hill review, which got glitched. Go to Odyssey to watch that review. Want to know why? Why? Because the other two movies were better. Oh, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> so she's talking about like, mutants are cool. We should love mutants. And I get what the movie and the comics are doing. It's like, hey, we shouldn't treat people differently because they're different. We should accept yeah. everyone. But it's like, well, the X Men are allegory for gay people. Not Aren't just they? it was any it's oppressed just really group. Any, yeah, it's any yeah. oppressed group. But the thing is, like, but, but like, gay people can't just blow up things with their mind. So, <laughs> so yeah. when you put, if I was in this universe, I'm like, look, I'm cool with mutants, but like, can we? Can we put the ones who could blow up things with their mind on a registry? <laughs> yeah, gay people totally can't do that. Well, Okay, so yes, the whole uh, this looming thing is the the registry where they're gonna register mutants, and that's why they showed the Holocaust yeah. thing in the beginning because that's what happened there. The and that's pro- why yeah. Magneto has this whole like where he hates him. He's, oh yeah, Magneto is what they not thrilled blow, about this, do. having lived through it. Yeah. yeah, and you see his tattoo and everything of yeah. the numbers, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so uh, we get to see a meeting of Xavier and Magneto. Um, and this is probably Xavier is perfect casting. You mean? X Xavier. X Xavier. Well, they, it's Xavier, but like they say, they pronounce they say the X because it's Professor. Like uh, uh, the late Patrick Stewart. Xavier. God rest his soul. Uh, oh please. yeah, I was gonna say, wait, he died. Oh yeah, he did in front of us. That's you're right. Not, yeah, you're not. You've you're already not, forgotten. You're Please not don't put that inviting out the Ian McKellen. I, I would sooner. I'd kill you. I don't know. X Men no, too. I'll give no, him a call. No. No, do not invite him. <laughs> so, uh, Patrick Stewart is awesome in this role. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see him come back, even though real life Patrick Stewart is kind of a loser and he's ruining Picard. Um, I hope to God he doesn't ruin Professor Xavier with his stupid bullshit. Is he ruining Picard? Let's, I don't, I didn't I don't, watch it. Yeah, I don't know. Now, nah, apparently, like, he came back if he could, like, inject, like, all his personal stuff into the show, but it, like, contradicts the character. Maybe he can have, like, a whole part where Patrick oh. Stewart is just talking about how much he hates James Corden, because he hates James Corden. Well, who, who fucking does it? Yeah. You ever see that video where he's, like, I thought like, he was gay. Everyone thinks Patrick Stewart's gay. He's no, no, not- no, no, James Corden. Oh. I no, thought I he was gay. He's no, not. He's not. Wait, no, Patrick Stewart is not, but he's no. just very, you know. He's, he's really good friends he's with Ian so cool. McKellen, who he, is yeah, gay. He officiated his wedding. Yeah, but people often will say, like, they're in a relationship <laughs> together. Patrick Stewart's like, I've been married for years. Yeah. Patrick Stewart also pretended he didn't know he was circumcised. That was a weird interview. Pretended he didn't know? Yeah, he told a whole joke where he said he was he uh, was um, circumcised or uncircumcised, and then... A doctor told him that it was the opposite and he pretended he didn't know. And I'm like, this is the fakest story I've ever heard. Why is Patrick Stewart making up this story? She said, you're not circumcised. I said, that's ridiculous. I should know if I'm circumcised. (laughs) I was seeing my doctor for my annual physical. Of course. I I am circumcised, (laughs) aren't I? Because she says I'm not. And he goes, not. (laughs) You want to talk about his penis? 
Is that going to be in Doctor Strange? Is he going to be like, by the way, I mean, the first time- <laughs> Stephen Strange, <laughs> in this universe, I was circumcised. But in this universe... <laughs> I didn't know what circumcision was until I saw the South Park episode about circumcision. <laughs> and I was like, that's not real. This is a cartoon. And then I was like, oh my God, what? What did you... What? <laughs> You've cut weenies? Yeah. It's cut cut weenies? <laughs> yeah, I found out and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't have an option in this? Like, yeah. I feel like I should have yeah. had a say. That's what anyway, the- <laughs> before before Johanna goes on one of her crazy rants, let's move on. I know you care very much about that. Um, Penises, yeah. Well, that's also to the South Park movie. It's called Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. And I didn't put that together until like, <laughs> I was like way, like I was Nothing in my 20s. Whole. And then I'm like, oh my God, this is a dick reference. And they had it in the theater in big size. And like, I never put it together. So, uh, we see Rogue is now in um, Alaska, yeah. which you have to go through Canada to get through. In that cold climate she loves Do you so know much. who the truck driver is? No. The truck driver is the guy who voices Beast on the cartoon. In no the cartoon. shit. Yeah. Cool. I thought you said you were going to take me as far as Laughlin City. This is Laughlin City. Oh, my stars. Yeah, if you listen to his voice, it's like, oh, shit, he's doing the Beast voice. He's like, this is Carson City. And then she, when huh. she gets there, she tells, like, she's like, my name's Rogue. And it's like, does is that like one of the things that comes with your powers? All of a sudden you get a name. Yeah, you need that pops an alias. In your head. She gave herself the I'm name. I guess because she is a rogue. She I'm gave Wolverine. her that name. My name is. Uh, I don't know. I, caveman. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Denim. Your name is Denim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Denim Vest. Denim. The name's Denim. Um. All right. I have the power of uh, being comfortable in <laughs> pants and clothing. Okay, so <laughs> this movie is really fun. We were talking about it. Yeah. This movie's really fun to go back and watch after you see all the other films. So, so Wolverine, apparently, in the 70s and 80s, he was just jacked as shit. He was getting a ton of protein. He was in the gym. Every goddamn day. But I guess in the 90s, he like took a break. Yeah. And he's still in good shape, but he's definitely not as muscular as he was in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. I guess he just changed his diet up. Maybe he was trying to go vegan for a little bit. <laughs> he let himself go a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, then, maybe know... he got a job and he wasn't able to hit the gym a lot. <laughs> maybe he got a girlfriend. That'll do it to you. Yeah. That'll do it to you. But then he, you know, he worked on it ever since the first movie. He yeah. He was like, oh, you know what? I used to be so ripped back then. I need to get back there. <laughs> Yeah. So then he started and progressively got bigger and bigger. Yeah, he looked at a picture of himself in the 70s. He's like, man, I was way more muscular and I looked about 10 years older. But let me get back yeah. in shape. <laughs> it is funny because like late, later in the later movies, he's doing that thing the actors do where they purposely dehydrate themselves so their veins stick out, yeah. their skin gets tighter. And you watch this movie where he's like, yeah, he looks all right. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, wow, he looks really healthy. Glad he's like getting his hydration. And yeah. Stuff. He's eating well. Uh, also, I mean, he did audition and get the part in three weeks. It's not like he had a lot of... Yeah. He was in dancer shape because he's a dancer. He's like a theater guy yeah. before this. He was Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. Yes. No shit. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. We know a guy who played Gaston. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, his fight scene is awesome with the guy in the cage. Yeah. I love the don't hit him balls, we'll take a person. <laughs> yeah. I like he punches the guy's hand and it's like... Oh, yeah. 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 That part. Oh. Um... And then later on, he's uh, sitting at the bar uh, and uh, fucking when I saw his jacket, I remembered X-Men Origins Wolverine gave an origin to his fucking jacket. Yeah. As if anyone cared about that. And the origin is literally like he stayed at an old person's yeah, house. Yeah, he gets killed almost And the old guy said, here's a jacket. So the reveal of Wolverine's claws. What was it like when you saw that in live action? It was like a religious experience for me. Yeah. I went fucking ape shit. Uh, I don't know, Kieran. See, they came out of his knuckles, not the top of his hand like the comics. So I, I got up in the theater and I said, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. And then I walked out and uh, I started looking up Ryan Singer's address and I could never find him. I was Did people really him. do that? He would have liked if you found him then. He would have liked if, yeah. allegedly, he would have liked if 11-year-old Tony <laughs> showed, allegedly. So allegedly. Back when um I was in college and I would get like, I'd get a little bit baked, but I used to do this thing constantly where I would sit and go 
like as I was like sitting in my friend's apartment. I used to hold butter knives. Yeah, I used to do like whatever I I do to have. I do like that he doesn't have the stupid metal things on the top. Yeah, but I I thought it it was it made sense the way they come out of the knuckle there. It looked cool too. I thought it looked cool. Yeah, the shot coming out of the middle part was really. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, and it's so crazy. And then the other ones like that in in two thousand they filmed it in nineteen ninety nine. They figured out the claws right away. Yeah, the claws look perfect. Yep. They didn't have to improve upon the claws. They didn't have to do Roger Rabbit CGI <laughs> yeah. with the claws. So, dude, we, when when Origins came out, I remember my friend came into school. We were in college, and he's like, man, I saw Origins. It sucked. And I was like, no, you're lying, man. And he goes, there's a scene where Wolverine's claws come out, and they look worse than the singing sword. I, I literally Roger was Rabbit. in the theater like, how did we figure this out? Ten, yeah. They literally, his claws have never looked bad. They look terrible in that movie. And then he accidentally like slices the sink in half, but it looks like, it's like you didn't touch that. Nothing <sighs> touched that. Like, I do like that he can make the claws come out one at a time because I don't think I yeah. had seen that at that point. He, so he did it in the cartoon at one point. There's, okay. a, there's a part where he has like a guy between the claws and he's like, sometimes my claws slip. Oh, and, that's and the funny. guy's like, uh, and it's like, so yeah. <laughs> Which happens here. He does put the claw up mm -hmm. to the guy. Uh, then he cuts the other dude's uh, gun, and we see the CGI yeah. gunpowder come out. Um, that scene was pretty awesome, though. I yeah. I went nuts when that when that first happened, and you hear the, the sound they make. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. so, like... And also in the scene, we get the looming uh, threat of the world, count, the world summit on mutant stuff that's happening. All the world leaders are going to meet up on Ellis Island to talk about mutants. For whatever reason. And have a yeah. party, it seems, <laughs> later in the film. <laughs> uh, so that's something that's happened there. He Which, he leaves. He's is like, anything I gotta even get out on here. Ellis Island right now? Huh? Isn't it just the building and it's, it's like nobody goes there? And, well, hmm. people go for like um, museum stuff or whatever. Cause it's yeah. Oh, that's so, about yeah. it? Okay. That's yeah, cool. they're not like importing people. I've never yeah. been to Ellis Island. I've been to like Liberty Island, but I've never oh, been, I've been to both. Same, same. Okay. I've been to both. I went to the Statue of Liberty shortly after this and uh, the security people were like talking about like when the X-Men were there. Of course they did. Yeah. Did um, they film it actually on the island? Uh, the exteriors. I don't think. The That's cool. Maybe? So that must have been really neat if like, oh my God, they're filming the X-Men movie here. Uh, I feel like the interior was a set. Yeah, probably. Maybe they could have. And they I definitely they were didn't film in the head, fight. obviously. Yeah. Um, I don't so, think Wolverine actually cut the, the little piece off either. <laughs> no, I don't think and so. And the fire exploded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a funny story of when they got to Ellis Island later on. So Rogue stows away in Wolverine's vehicle and he like kicks her out and then he feels bad and lets her tag him along. And here is another inconsistency with later movies. She's like, hey, does it hurt when the claws come out? And he goes, every time. Because in this continuity right now, the claws were inserted. They're not natural. Uh, even in the second movie, he says, like, I gave you claws. So that's mm -hmm. why it would actually hurt every time they come out. Uh, then the later movies are like, he has bone claws. I hate the bone claws. What are your thoughts? That's that's part of the actual, like, continuity, though. In the comics, maybe. But, yeah. like, actually, I feel like it was inserted later in the comics. No, well, so so they never had it until the, the way they found out was when Magneto tore all the adamantium yeah. through his pores. Yeah. And they found out, oh, he had those claws. All yeah, but I mean, they like, added that later on. Because he was like, well, because I think it was also too like the claws were part of it. But how do we get rid of the adamantium, but make him into because yeah. at the time, Wolverine was basically the throw Wolverine at it. He's, yeah. he's indestructible. Basically, you could. Yeah. So it was like the bone claws were a way to keep him with his like signature, but also make him vulnerable. Yeah, I just I never like the bone claws. Also, if it was like an animal, it wouldn't be bone. It would be like like ivory and stuff, right? It would be well, like an actual claw. Yeah, they're not, well, it wouldn't make yeah. sense to shoot actual bones out. Like bones yeah, are it's, terrible. It's no, they're they are like I don't think they're supposed to be like straight up bone. Like yeah. they are, but they are like organic in a yeah. way. Well, you know marrow, the X Men marrow. Yeah, she's like actually her powers to just make. Bones. Well, there's a marrow guy in the third movie. But yeah, but in these two movies, they they specifically say like the claws were like inserted later on, uh, so that well that's why it doesn't really. There's a lot of inconsistencies with this series. I think it was also too they didn't know, well they changed a lot of stuff, but also too mm. nobody was like a hundred percent up on the X Men. Yeah, unless you yeah they didn't know like, they were gonna make a sequel or anything. Yeah, yeah. and also no. too like when did they start making this? Like it would have been 1999 because it came okay. out in 2000. Yeah, but did they only take a year to make the movie? Maybe they started in 1998. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, um, we see the claws and whatnot. He talk, he's talking about the claws. Wolverine crashing through the window is still fucking hilarious. Sorry, I love <laughs> Rogue in, in the beginning, like, oh, put on your seatbelt. And then right after that, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, Kieran, if there was a sound that you could accompany with this scene, what would it be? <laughs> well, of course it would be scratch. <laughs> <laughs> and I love his face. He's like, ah, there it is. 
<laughs> Wolverine flying through the So, window. yeah, he scratches through the windshield. Scratches through yeah. the windshield. Scratch. And I do like when we, I mean, we had already seen the healing on his fingers, but I like when he gets up and his head's cut open yeah. and then he heals. Why does his blood look purple throughout this film? The lighting? There's like a purplish tint to his blood in this film. Oh. It's weird. Um, but yeah, I love like the, just the healing of the yeah. head. And she's like, what the fuck? Uh, we get an he's exciting cracking his bones. <laughs> yeah, we get an exciting scene of her stuck in the car, but before he helps her, he's got to fight Sabretooth. Yep. My but that liar, Tyler Maine. Untrustworthy Tyler. Untrustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> who who to this day still probably thinks he is trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. Next time I see Tyler Maine, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> he's gonna be like, Who are you again? <laughs> what movie did I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Sabretooth in this, and I guess we're yeah. just supposed to assume that, you know, Sabretooth had short black hair for 200 years, <laughs> and then between 1970 something and 1999, he's like, you know, I'm going to dye my hair blonde, I'm going to grow my hair out, and I'm going to start wearing deer skin. <laughs> so, I think what it is, is this is the the shitty X-Men universe's Sabretooth, and yeah. the other Sabretooth is the first class Sabretooth universe, and then they come together. I don't know. X-Men Origins, I don't think, is in the first class <laughs> universe. It actually yeah. highly contradicts <laughs> it. It's kind of in the middle of it. It's got Deadpool uh, in it. Remember? I like this Remember Sabretooth. Deadpool? I thought the Sabretooth was awesome. Yeah, he, was, he looked like Sabretooth more than uh, Liev Schreiber did. Yeah. I, think. Uh, I know Liev Schreiber like, acted more and yeah. was more of a character, but like if you just need a muscly guy, sure, Sabretooth. Yeah, and he's just grunting and stuff occasionally. He'll yeah, some line. and Wolverine has amnesia, so it makes sense that he wouldn't know any of his backstory with him. And you can add it. Well, they try to add it later on, and they fuck it up. Yeah. Uh, but no, I thought Sabretooth was awesome. I like that he doesn't wear his stupid jumpsuit from the comics. Yeah, with the furry mane. Is that it? I always thought that was just his skin. No, it's definitely a suit. It is a suit. It's okay. a suit. It's kind of like I always thought Jean Grey just wore like a thing. I didn't realize that was like an, a suit that I she was wearing. I always thought Sabretooth was naked, <laughs> and that's just what he looked like. I will say I have it later in my notes, but I'll say it here. The movie never really makes it clear to people who, aren't, who don't follow the comics that he has the same powers as Wolverine. Yeah. Because he's getting, like, stabbed and shit throughout the film. It's like, how is he still alive yeah. unless you know well, that he has the I same power? I think that's the thing, too, is, like, he has more. Mm. Like, he heals faster. Wolverine is kind of, like, less on the animal side. Yeah. He's more human. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, he gets into a fight. He gets knocked out. And they're saved by the X-Men. Yes. In their black suits. What did you think about their black suits? What was your reaction? Why are they in black? <laughs> I got up in the theater and I said, no again, you're wrong again. <laughs> what would you prefer? Yellow spandex? Oh God, spoiler. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess for, uh, I know a lot of older fans were real upset about that. Yeah. About the outfits. And I guess cause us, we grew up with the Batman movies that made them all black. Like it was easier for our generation to accept their black suits. And also, this is after The Matrix and Blade, so everyone was like, yeah, Black yeah. Leather's awesome. I was fine with it. I I mean, like I said, I've, I've said this, like, just in, in passing, yeah. but, like, I was just happy I was getting an X-Men movie. Yeah. I didn't care. Now, like, granted, it's annoying when they do it in later movies. Yeah. Like, X-Men Apocalypse gave them the all-black suits. It's like, come on. And then at the end of that movie, they gave them the comic-accurate suits, yeah. and then the next movie, they get rid of it. It's Same like, thing in, just... in uh, The Wolverine. At the end, he gets the... Like, in the deleted the, ending. The, the, the deleted scene. ending. Oh, it was deleted? It's in the deleted ending, yeah. Oh. And then... And Days of Future Past, he is wearing the yellow and blue suit, but yeah. then he's got all the body it's, armor yeah. on top of it. It's like, God damn it. Remember when you used to do your hair like Wolverine all the time? Yeah, my hair used to be able to do as Wolverine. Not anymore. I actually, there's a picture of me. It might not exist anymore, but I, I used to. I used to. And I you should have been Sabretooth. We should have got you a furry jacket. Yeah, right? A furry vest. Here, we'll, we'll shoot it again. Let me go out. Me a, I'm going to go, I'm gonna a go find boa. a deer. I'll be back. <laughs> no! <laughs> come with the deer carcass. No! <laughs> Just um, invite a deer onto the show, and it'll come in and kill it. Right? <laughs> like everyone else. <laughs> I think I hear a deer clopping in right now. Um, yeah, so they take care of Sabretooth. They save them, and then uh, it flashes to... The island that Magneto has. Yeah. That he built. There's just a big rock whatever, island. I don't know. Island. <laughs> I mean. Comic book. Whatever. Yeah. In the comic book, he does make an entire asteroid. That's true. That he's he's not at asteroid level together, yet. You know? Yeah. Uh, and this is before Genosha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I they do like that we Genosha, see. do they? Huh? They never did Genosha in the. Uh, Dark Phoenix. And it was a left. I didn't oh, see. Oh, yeah. Dark, I didn't see Dark it. Phoenix. I couldn't get. I got up to the part when, like, spoiler alert. 
no. three, two, one. You don't have uh, to. No. Mystique dies, and I went, what, what, what? And then she just flies away, and then yeah. everybody's mad. And it's like it was an accident. Like, I'm surprised. Yeah. I have a review probably still up on the channel, like an older video. I was surprised that movie wasn't even more of a mess than it mm. was. And that movie was like barely comp. Didn't so it have to it have was really like, bad. Like the ending changed, or am I thinking of Captain? Yeah, Marvel? the whole train thing was changed at the end. And I, it should look worse, and it looks fine. It's still not a great movie. To be honest, Apocalypse sucked balls, too. And I was Apocalypse like, was dumb fun for me, though, well, so but yeah, it, it's not good. Well, like, I liked Weapon X. I thought yeah. that was awesome. Like, seeing Weapon X was was pretty badass. Like, yeah. But the rest of the movie, I was like, eh. The, mm. the part where it's like, I just feel weird about, like, Michael Fassbender is obviously on a green screen on wires going like this. And things are just happening, and it's like that's was it, what was his it job weird was for them day? to go to uh, Auschwitz and have Olivia Munn in the purple bikini? I thought that was a little disrespectful. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I think I wouldn't have the the sexy purple bikini. Well, I wouldn't lady let her Auschwitz. around <laughs> any type of married woman, any or married man anyway. Cause she's a home wrecker. Yeah, just like that other one that you know that I saved you from. I <laughs> saved your relationship from that home wrecker. I was the buffer between the home wrecker uh -huh. and. You're welcome. Maybe she was just happy to be next to you, a celebrity. Yeah. She wasn't even thinking about Ian. So I like when we get to the island, we see, uh, we get a glimpse of what they're doing. We see Toad spray painting something, but we yeah. not, we're not really sure what it is yet. Uh, and I like the whole mystery throughout this film. Like, what is Magneto's plan? You have to mm -hmm. like think about it. Whereas yeah. in newer movies, the bad guy will be like, I'm going to do this. And it's yeah. like, well, we'll see how that pans out. Um, and of course, it's Ray Park because he was very popular at the time. Yeah, he was Darth he was Maul. Darth Maul, and he was Snake Eyes in the future. Later, he was Snake Eyes <laughs> later. Years. He was Raiden too. Oh, and he, he was, was also Rugal in King of Fighters. If you've ever seen that, it's horrible. <laughs> With Maggie Q, he's also uh, got his dick sucked on Instagram. <laughs> oh yeah, someone hacked his Instagram and uploaded that video. <laughs> Maybe not put that in there too because I think that was like. A whole fucking oh thing. That God. was after he came back as Darth Maul for Solo, and then that yeah. happened. He's like, uh-oh. Like, um, he did? That was him in Solo? Yeah. Yeah, oh, and shit. then he was like, oh, that's a bah fun ghoul from me. So, yeah, Sabretooth is telling Magneto what happened. He's like, they knew we were coming. They knew we were after the mutant. Yeah. Uh, and Magneto's like, okay, well, let's leave. And this always bothered me. So there's like a, uh, what you call it? The magnetic balls. Yeah. And I'm just like, so, so a Magneto's Newton's cradle, it's called so Magneto, huh? Newton's cradle. Newton's cradle. It's like, so Magneto is like hanging out and talking and the whole time he's got to focus on doing a stupid cradle. <laughs> and then when he walks away, he just lets him spill all over the place. It's like, you're, you could put him somewhere. Yeah. Like, Maybe what are you he doing? He does that as like a concentration thing. Like, what, what, what is this weird flex? Like Sabretooth <laughs> would be like, Hey dude, you built the island with your power. That's yeah. impressive. You moving the tiny balls is not impressive. It's not as cool as you think it is. I can't even like talk on the phone and talk to another person at the same time. I can't imagine like Sabretooth talking to me. I'm like, dude, fuck off a second. I'm trying to make these balls <laughs> hit each other. I hate it, it, I hate that hard. he has metal chairs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And then they always make that screeching sound. You think someone would be like, hey, I know it's cool. You can move. But like sometimes we have to move the chairs. Can we put yeah. wheels on them, They're you heavy. asshole? They're made of solid steel. I yeah. hate them. They weigh like, like, 40 like, pounds like, each. Mystique should be like, hey, look, it's really heavy when I got to move the chair yeah. in front of the TV. Can we put wheels on them? <laughs> oh, my God. And Magneto's like, I'll move it with my mind. She's yeah. like, yeah, but sometimes you're at the store and I just need to move the yeah. chair. <laughs> sometimes you're flying off and like hanging out with like, you know, Xavier. Sometimes I got to leave the island. I can't make the metal yeah. bridge. And I need a, I need a, I need a, a hand truck to move the chair across the floor. <laughs> anyway, enough about the chair across the floor. <laughs> um, so Jean uses her telekinesis on a needle that she's about to give Wolverine. Yeah. And then Wolverine attacks her and she doesn't use her telekinesis to stop Wolverine. Yeah. Because cool. she's lame and weak <laughs> her her powers in this movie always suck Jean is the worst because she's always like i have telekinetic and then she's like oh all the time <laughs> like every time something happens in the cartoon like something hits her like she's the <laughs> oh, yeah, she's, cause she's kinda... op so they're like oh well we can't let her do everything yeah i guess so yeah it's kind of like cyclops in this movie they have to constantly keep taking his visor off because then everything would be done yeah and then he's like my eyeballs <laughs> and he's just shooting stuff everywhere <laughs> Um, so he's running around the X-Men lair and it's blue da ba dee da bu die da bu dee da bu die. <laughs> it's all blue. <laughs> yeah. I heard, I don't know if it's this movie or the next movie, but apparently one of the blue doors has a tag that says danger on it to let you know it's the danger room. It might be the second movie though. I tried to look for it. And I, 
It's one of those details. It's so small you can't mm. even see it. So like they were they were hinting that there is a danger room at some point. Mm. Um, he enters the school, and this is where he sees uh, Jubilee, Pyro, X Men, and Kitty Pride. And Kitty Pride in this movie is a teenager, and then the next film she's a little girl, and then the next film she's a teenager. It's a little confusing. Mm. Yeah, maybe those are multiple different girls who could walk through walls. I don't know. Could be, or it just is this. This series just has famous continuity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Xavier is trying to like explain everything and he, he tells Wolverine all their goofy names. Yeah. He's like, this is Aurora Munro also called storm. Yeah. It's like, uh, okay. So Wolverine was knocked out. So he didn't see any of that shit. He's like, why is she called storm? And then he's like, this is, uh, Scott Summers also called Cyclops. Yeah. But he's not wearing the visor. He's wearing his, his glasses and Wolverine should be like, why the fuck are you called Cyclops? What the fuck does that mean? You have two eyes. And then, like, they're, they're all shocked when Wolverine makes fun of Xavier and calls him Wheels. It's like, well, yeah, yeah what I do love you expect? <laughs> What's your name? Wheels? When he said that, the whole theater erupted. Yeah. I and then, and then and they're flat. like, here's Jean Grey. <laughs> that's when you stood <laughs> yeah, up. That's, yeah. What was Jean Grey's earl, early name? Was it Marvel Girl? I think it was Marvel Girl. Yeah, I think girl. it was Marvel Girl. Yeah, he didn't go sure like... When she had the weird, like... Yeah. Yeah. And she was, like, in love with Professor X or something. Mm-hmm. Something weird, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do like the whole, like, What's a Magneto? Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Uh, so he basically tells them like, where, like, where they the are. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. And you're like, like, it's like really, dude. Like you don't you you've been going. They your still life. do that to this day. They do like uh, comics that kind of poke fun of the movies that poke fun of stuff. Like I'm thinking like um, Jessica Jones, where they pull out her like comic accurate suit, and she's like, oh, that's dumb. I'm not gonna use that name in suit. I'm like, yeah. wow, we're, we're still doing the X Men jokes like yeah. twenty something years later. Yeah. Um. Uh, James Martin had to stand on apple crates whenever he's in a scene <laughs> yep. with Hugh Jackman or Famke Jensen. He's short. <laughs> he's, a, he's a short guy. Short. He looks great as Cyclops. I think yeah. he plays. A great... I also like him in general. They never really gave him like enough to do, mm. especially the second one. Yeah, this one he was just kind of there, and then the second one he's just the second one they incapacitate him. The yeah. third one they just straight up kill him yeah, off. He dies in the beginning. He comes back in Days of Future Past and then dies in between movies again. Uh, but he looks great as Cyclops. And okay, so the famous thing, and actually we should talk about this, the difference between Wolver- uh, comic Wolverine and movie Wolverine is that movie Wolverine is like, what, six foot five? Six foot four, I think Six he is, foot yeah. four. Kieran, do we have a uh, uh, physical example of the difference between the two? Oh, wow. Is that a cool Toy Biz X Mutations toy? Now, this was a cool thing. It came with classic Wolverine and movie Wolverine. Can I op- open it? Yeah, open that bad boy up. Oh, man. Look at that cool Toy Biz X-Men movie versus classic Wolverine figure. Karen, now that I've said the word Toy Biz and X-Men many, many times, is there a show where I can hear more, more about the Toy Biz X-Men line? Uh Oh, yes, you could. Uh <laughs> Uh, peg warmers with with Kevin and me. Wow! An X Men episode. You did an X Men Toy Biz episode on peg warmers. Yeah, it's on www. Uh, peg warmers. Peg warmers. dot com backslash Kieran and Kevin talk about X Men. <laughs> <laughs> and sadly, I wanted to give you this for the episode, but I was not able to get it in time. So here we go. Look yeah. at that. They are two very different characters. Yeah, so uh, Wolverine is tall, and that really... You can put it down now. Oh. Wolverine is tall, and that, like, upset a lot of people. Yeah. I think he looks great as Wolverine, but yes, he is a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah because I think... I What's it called? Uh, the normal Wolverine is five foot four. I yeah. Think, right? I mean, I I was just happy that his face looked like Wolverine. That's a, yeah. And I no, also... looked like Wolverine. Wolverine's one of those characters that I've always loved the character, and I've always hated the suit. Yeah. I never liked the mask. I, see, yeah. I, I liked it. I, never, I, I liked the cool. brown and black suit that he had in the 90s. I mm-hmm. really liked the brown and black one. That one was cool. I just never could get into the blue and yellow. Hmm. I could never get into it. The first time I, I ever saw Wolverine was... So Wolverine is kind of like the first superhero that I not like discovered, but like the first one I was... I kind of found out on my own. It wasn't like, oh, my mom sat me in front of Batman or gave me a Spider-Man mm. thing or the Incredible Hulk because it was on TV. And I was like... Oh my god, he's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And immediately, like the second, and I bought the action figure of yeah. him. I had the little like it was the one that came with the ring and the <clears throat> the pop out claws and everything. Yeah, Wolverine was the coolest thing I had ever. He seen. He was in my cool. Life. Then he got a little too cool. 
and they focused on him a little too much, especially yeah. in the movie series. Where it's like, if you think about it logistically, a lot of those later movies, I'm like, he's not that important to the plot. Why is he the main character? No, he. That was the thing. Was just in the '90s. He he was like, honestly, one, one of the most very '90s. One of the most satisfying things in Days of Future Past is where that whole climax, Magneto just picks him up and throws him away. Yeah. I'm like, finally, we get an ending to one of these movies that's just not I, the Wolverine I, show. Well, I I like still liked it though. I think I that's the it. thing is like also too that he is probably the best part of the entire movie series. Yeah, and they, it's Hugh also... Hugh Jackman just steals the show, in my opinion. It's also a result of... Well, he's definitely the most popular character, so you're going to make him the main character in the first one. Mm -hmm. But then he became just one of the most popular actors on the planet. Yeah. So you had to make him the main character and all the other stuff. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Also, you ever play the video game? The, the yeah. Xbox 360 game? Yes, the Origins. Yeah. yeah that was good. That actually, to be honest, is a better telling of the origin story of movie than the, than the origins is. one and it's super gory like you yeah. actually like rip people in half and wolverine like heals in real time everything it's just don't play the ps2 game. version it sucks yeah I just play... kind of hoping that they're gonna have uh the new wolverine uh game like super gory. yeah actually i forgot that about that pretty and like mm. if it's by if it's by insomniac it like oh my god yeah. i can't wait so Logan gets a tour of the mutant school yeah and he learns about a lot of stuff and he sees rogue in a class now there's an extended sequence here uh, that was cut out, but it's in the extended version where like Jubilee and Kitty Pride are like asking about Wolverine and they're like, yeah. he shoots metal claws out. They're like, Pretty what knives for hands or whatever? She's yeah, they're like, yeah. what kind of mutation is that? So it shows like even in this marginalized group, there's also some kind of like infighting and yeah. stuff there where they're like, well, I know I'm a mutant, but I'm not one of the weird ones. It's like, yeah. all right. Even though Jubilee's um, power is pretty lame, like, what is she like? Oh, good job. Like, uh, you can throw firecrackers. Any 14 <laughs> any year old can do that. Yeah. Uh, I do like <laughs> showing, like, all the kids with mutant powers, and, like, the one is running on water, and it's like, I'm like, I feel like that's an easy yeah. power to hide from people. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it's like, oh, that kid's not a mutant. He's Jesus Christ. He is the, but the it's second like, coming. It's like, can he, <laughs> can he only walk on water or do, can He's he like, I can't walk on to? normal floor. I can only walk <laughs> only on water. water. If I go in wa in floor, I sink and I and I drown in the floor. Yeah, and then there's like a teleporter and whatnot. <laughs> I like the kid, the kid who's playing basketball like by himself. Yeah. He's like passing to himself and everything. No, no fair, no powers. I do like... um like Cyclops practicing with the yeah. thing. And His like, visor's really big in this one. They shorten it in the next one. Do you think like if uh, accidentally like Gene smashed him upside the head with one of those clay pigeons, <laughs> 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 he'd get mad at her later? Uh, and then we get a little bit of backstory where uh, Xavier and um, Eric Magneto were friends and they kind of built this whole thing together, but then they had a falling out over like how they would deal with certain mutant issues at, uh, what you call it Xavier wants everyone to get along Magneto's like now nah, we're better than them like he wants yeah. to like flip it on them uh, and Senator Kelly we go back to Senator Kelly and uh, he hates people who are not liking him and he's super xenophobic so more like yeah, Johanna Saltz at a young age so I know where she got her oh, oh wow that, that hit, hit him in, in the, the mouth. mouth good uh, jinx <laughs> so I know she got her oh. wow tired of the jokes <laughs> See the people in her party, they're very violent and <laughs> I have something important to say. Senator Kelly, more like Senator Smelly. I agree. That's all I want to say. <laughs> I don't know why Senator Kelly hates mutants so much. If you watched the the TV behind the scenes thing that came out a week or two before the movie, did you ever see that? No. Nah. Yeah, there's like a whole subplot. They're talking about they're talking about the movie, but there's this whole subplot of Senator Kelly, and at the end of it, his daughter turns into a mutant. Does no one remember that? It's probably on the DVD. No. Mm -mm. Uh, what was it called? Yeah, there was like this whole thing, and like Senator Kelly was like this plot line that was running through the whole behind the scenes special features. At the end, his daughter is like a mutant, and everyone's like, ah. It's okay, Daddy. I'm still your little I didn't know that. Yeah, they didn't tie into the movie. I was very upset. Don't they do that in True Blood with somebody? There's like a dude who's like anti-vampire, and then Eric turns his daughter into a vampire or something. Yes, yes. Um, Mystique's reveal is awesome. Rebecca yeah. Romaine Stamos at the time. Uh, that's a really it's a little CGI uh, the transformation, but I think it works. Yeah, it's fine. I um, like how it's happening. Like 
in the in the background while while he's looking out the window. Yeah, he's and just then talking. You see her blurred kind of, so yeah. it's like happening almost. Like I, I like when he looks out the window and he realizes it's over ocean, and he's like, yeah. "Where are we going? Where are we going?" And she uh, just kicks the shit out. Yeah, of him. she puts his feet all over his, his face. Feet. Yeah, which I, her feet. All over his face, and I'm sure there are some fans out there, and this is their favorite scene. Could you imagine? Yeah, they're like, oh, please, Mommy Mystique, please. I guarantee his VHS, you just see it's no. like warped on there because yeah, he's right. rewinding the whole yeah. time. <laughs> I don't I never had this on VHS. This is a. Uh, You're think, a liar. This she is, does uh, like You had to get rid of it because you warped it. This is Kevin You're Jones' disgusting. VHS. You're disgusting. <laughs> she puts her feet I'm not all up in his mouth. Yes, you are. I am oh, not. He's a foot guy. Lies about me. No, you spread lies about me. Now I'm going to spread lies about you. I He's not what. Italian. And he likes feet. <laughs> um, but yeah, and like, even though Man, she's the feet. bad guy, she's like, yeah, people like you made me afraid to go to school. And it's like, all right, so we kind of sympathize with these bad guys a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, there's technically no right or wrong with like the mutants, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you see their points of view and you could be like, oh, I understand why. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Magneto is kind of an asshole. Where it's like Magneto doesn't realize. Well, it's look like, what's happening. Magneto is just like, oh man, it was wrong for them to persecute us. Now I'm gonna persecute them. It's like, all right, well that doesn't really help progress, Magneto. Like, he doesn't really want to persecute him. He just wants to cause like the genocide of the entire human race. Exactly. You think he would learn the lesson that that's <laughs> bad? But the lesson he learned is, no, I should be the one doing it. It's like, yeah. no, that's... I wouldn't call it a genocide because he's trying to turn people. Well, anyway, to his um... agenda. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, more about Mystique's feet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they uh, scan Wolverine's body and they see the adamantium. Yeah. Uh, and they explain his healing factor. But even like Professor X is like, what does Magneto want with this guy? He's not that impressive. <laughs> like, yeah. I like how in universe, because yeah, there are like Professor Xavier's like, I can read minds. That woman can literally control the weather. I'm like, this guy heals and he has metal bones. Yeah. Cool. Like, there's maybe way. He just needed the healing powers. Uh, maybe. Mm. Well, the healing um, powers are pretty crazy. But then we see um, Magneto. Uh, he has Senator Kelly Coward. Ooh, I just thought maybe that's why they didn't really show the saber tooth stuff, or whatever, with him like healing because they were like, "Oh, let's add to the illusion, whatever," so yeah. like, they don't realize who um, uh, Magneto's actually going after. Yeah, maybe that they want work. Wolverine well, for the healing powers or the metal bones or, or something. So, yeah, because yeah. they show later that like you know he gets yeah. tired. So so then here is where he has his machine and he has Senator Kelly and Senator Kelly is a cowardly leader. He just gives in. He's just like, oh, you'll make me right. I'm on board with you. You're cool. And he's like, all right, whatever, coward. Yeah. Uh, he's like, don't fear me. At least not yet. And I like when Toad eats the bird. Yeah. <laughs> Kennedy's Gross. like, Ugh! Uh, and then he makes a big uh, giant globe thing. Anyway. So read my mind. I'd rather not. Uh, and she like looks at his mind and she sees some of Weapon X. I think in the extended version, there's like a shot of like people breaking into his room and he's like in bed with a girl or something. Uh, but they cut that out of the movie, so it's like like almost he was like kidnapped or something. Mm. They change it in the next one where they say he volunteered. Um, and then, of course, Cyclops is like, stay away from my girl. Yeah. I'm, I'm just here in the background. Yeah. Wolverine's priorities are a little fucked. It's like, dude, you're entering like a new world. There's something big going on. Can you not try to cuck this guy you just yeah. met? Like, He's like, stay away from my girl. Step down off the ladder. <laughs> <Yeah, please. laughs> I do yeah. like a lot of I'm the I'm a shots. big tough guy. Dude, no, I do like a lot of the shots where they clearly put him in the background or whatever, so they don't have to really show. What you got? Um, there's a scene in X Men Three where they're walking. I think I mentioned this before where they're walking side by side, and they had to build a track for James Martin to walk next to you. That's Jackson. so crazy! Like, <laughs> um, so Wolverine has a nightmare later that night. Yeah. Uh, and Rogue is like, hey, Wolverine, what's going on? And then he fucking stabs her. Like, Stab. They made a toy they of this. They made the toy of it, and I had it, yeah. There's a toy of a lot of weird scenes it's in a, this. It's a toy of Wolverine's claws, and they can go through Rogue's, like, chest. There was another toy where Sabretooth huh. can pick up a security guard, and the like, security guard yeah. goes limp. He was, I had was one um, of those, like, those toys where you press it, and hair? it's, like, the strings <laughs> in the inside, like... like yeah. I had the uh, Mystique turning into Wolverine toy. Yeah. Where it was that's actually kind of cool. It was, a, it was yeah. a rubber suit that it's you put so over funny. Mystique and then it's like, Bleh! yeah, it looks, it looks terrible. And she doesn't even like really move. Like the figures like she can, she, she like, can go like this. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. It's so bad. Some of those toys were real shit. They were real detailed, were but yeah, yeah they yeah. looked like them. Like, well, like the Patrick Stewart one was all floppy. Yeah. Like you couldn't like stand him up. He was like, I they, think there was no... a thing where uh, Femke Jansen went on like a show years ago. 
and she made fun of like the Burger King toy where like her, she, like her toy just had so much cleavage. She's like, why is this on the toy? That was the action figure itself. Okay, yeah, the where full, she's like the, in the, the green figure, slime. Yeah, 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 the full figure like had, uh, what's it called? Like her whole shirt was just open. And I think that was Conan. Because yes. all of them were on Conan and they yeah. all talked. He had one of their huh. a, everybody's action figures. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, her shirt's never unzippered. <laughs> I always think that's funny because Conan had all them on, but like Jay Leno and stuff, I don't think did. Like none of the, like Conan had all the X-Men on. Yeah. And Conan was great. Yeah, Conan was awesome. Um, well, he's still awesome, but he was, yeah. than, you know. He stabs Rogue uh, and she touches him. And this is when we realize she can like steal, she can like steal mutant's powers. Yeah. Because she had seen him heal at this point. So yeah. she's like, I need to borrow this. And then he just gets <laughs> You all literally gross. just killed me. Give me a second. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Wolverine's like, I'm awesome. It's like, you could be killed by Rogue. Like, Rogue yeah. could just touch you and be like, all right, you're dead. Uh, Pretty much. <laughs> the other kids are like freaked out by the power. And they're like, we don't like this. This is not fun. So Senator Kelly's in prison. We don't know quite what happened to him yet. Yeah. And now he's a jelly man. He's a jelly and man. And any freeze frame of his face through those bars look hilarious. Like yeah, when his eyes like, are popping out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is when Magneto's making the metal bridge. And it's like, oh, yeah. It's like, Magneto, what if like you had like yeah. a cold and someone Somebody else had, had to go over there? Yeah. Like, his, his like I know Toad uh, can jump, but be considerate for the other guys. His, his island that he lives in is like Castlevania, where it's like, how does Dracula expect anyone to get anywhere in this castle? There's, <laughs> there's fucking 10 foot jumps. Everywhere you go, the long the castle is one really long, long narrow hallway. walkway that's just a mile and a half this way. Like, like there's only one path through everything, and it's forward. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, the machine mutated him. Uh, I like when Sabretooth drops him and then gets punished. Yeah, because they look out the he thing, they're like, the oh, thing. like, he's, he's trying like, to escape. And he's like, roar. He yeah, roars but I like, I like at first when Senator Kelly drops, he like looks around like, oh. Anyone see that? Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. Uh, we never get a close up of Senator Kelly's fish form. No. I mean, we see a little bit of it. The um, action figure. This is like a blob. The action figure had it? Yeah. So they, I forget who he, he came with. He came with somebody, but there's an action figure of Senator Kelly and he's just a blob. <laughs> it would probably be Storm because he's in a that rubber scene. bean bag. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's just has beans in him and he, and you can stretch him. And then mm, one time I would beans. stretch him and I explode oh, no. over the place. Just beans shoot everywhere. Um, we do get a shot here of Stan Lee. Yeah. When, this uh, is a, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing this too and being like, well, it's Stan not his Lee. first cameo. His first cameo was Trial of the Incredible Hulk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where the made for yeah, TV movie. Yeah. Uh, this so is, he, uh, and I, not to be like that, but. I knew who Stan Lee was at the time because I used to watch uh, on Sunday mornings, they showed the Iron Man and Fantastic Four cartoons mm -hmm. and he hosted it, but he was on camera. Yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, that was Stan Lee. And like, I missed it the first couple times. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh shit, that is him. I have I knew it was him just because I had seen him so much. And then I was like, oh, that's cool. That he's in the movie. And then he was in Spider-Man also. You yeah. see him and like, I, and I caught him every time and then I, I was really yeah then they just got really blatant with the Stan Lee cameos. oh he's like talking and yeah. whatnot like it wasn't like oh there he is if you like, want to hear us talk more about Stan Lee and the Spider-Man movies check out our Spider-Man reviews Stan Lee Stan, Stan Lee, Lee. <laughs> rest in peace okay so back at the school Bobby yells at Rogue yeah. He's like, oh, you dumb bitch. You fucked up. Yeah. Get out, loser. Xavier's mad. Everybody yeah. thinks you're creepy. Me. Yeah. And she was like, wow, that's very cold of you to say. <laughs> 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 really? That wasn't like that funny. But okay. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah it's pretty funny. I feel good about myself. Um, and I like that Mystique has to make her eyes yellow. Yeah. For no reason. Like, it's yeah, for the like, audience, but like, like, what's the mm. in universe reason? <laughs> Maybe she was like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like. Because Bobby is really Mystique, obviously. Yeah. Um, so uh, Xavier uses a Cerebro, a machine that can amplify his uh, power. I love this whole room yeah. and whatnot. It's way cooler. Like in the cartoon, then you just have like a computer. But does like, it, I'm going to put a helmet on. Is this the part where she fills? No, no, that's a, that's coming up. This okay. is when it actually works. When she fills Cerebro with diarrhea. and it, <laughs> Diarrhea. It, that's a little bit later. gives him E. coli poisoning and he yeah. can't So he uses this anymore. machine to look for Rogue because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he could track mutants how it doesn't tell him that Mystique is hanging out in the school. I don't know. But, uh, maybe because he, he wasn't looking. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Uh, so yeah, he's like searching for Rogue. He finds her at the train station. He's like, all right, go out there and get them. But Wolverine, not you, because Magneto wants you. But Wolverine steals 
Cyclops's bike, which has a button that makes it go super fast. That makes his mouth go rah, 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 like that. I love how they have all this like advanced technology, but they never really go into that explanation of where they did it. Yeah, yeah it's like, how did they get the super fast? Like you bike? have a Blackbird jet? Yeah, I'm Are like, guys, where's the jet? Come I'm guessing from? like uh, Xavier went onto a military base and was like, I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here. I'm, to be here. I'm allowed <laughs> Send to take this, this jet. To my house. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, just, I can take this. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. And everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. And he just here steals it. is where. Mystique rigged Cerebro to kill Xavier, and this must have been hard for her because that's totally her adopted brother who she that's cares true. about so much, and they definitely grew up together. And yeah. and Xavier talks about it all the time. His sister Mystique, who he loved very much, it's almost as if she's not uh, his brother, his sister yeah. in this. Well, uh, and that was at it later. <laughs> <laughs> so she poops into this tank. <laughs> And how do we know? Get up there and squats. Yeah. How do we know the machine is being tampered? Oh, the blue goo will turn black. <laughs> she puts the poop into the thing, and it and it, it infects yeah. his brain with E. coli. So then here, uh, and at the he station, gets food poison. Yeah. Wolverine finds Rogue pretty easily because yeah. I guess he can smell her and whatnot. And he's like, "Hey, uh, that boy is a jerk. We should probably go back because yeah, everyone- let's give these nerds a chance." Yeah, he's like, "Everyone hates us. Uh, let's let's try because they seem to care." I like this uh, father daughter moment with Rogue and Wolverine. Uh, it's a cool relationship between the two of them. Uh, yeah. And it kind of, by the third one, it's just gone. They have like one scene together in the third Didn't one. They try to yeah. turn it into like a sexual thing too. No, it was no. never that. Well. Okay. She kind of has a thing for him. She has like a him. crush on him. Yeah, kinda, but, but it's like really. a girl crush. But she's crush. always with Bobby. Yes. Uh, but then it just gets ignored Bobber. by the third one, and then she's completely cut out of Days of Future Past. Because um, doesn't like Bobby end up dating Kitty Pride, and she sees that or something in the third? Yeah, movie, there's I like think. a love triangle, and that's why she's like, "I'm just gonna get rid of my powers." And yeah. She goes to the thing, which I thought that that was setting up for Apocalypse. Yeah. Originally, because I was like, "Oh shit, they're gonna get rid of the powers." That's like Apocalypse and blah blah. blah. And it's mm. like, no, no, it's just. It's just what it is what it is. But then I guess the powers everything. came back. Yeah. Um, I did like uh, how the movie originally just started with just kind of with Anna Paquin or whatever. Like that was supposed to be like our main character kind of like yeah. to like ease us into it. If we didn't know anything about X-Men, yeah. by the way. But then after that, they were just like, nah, Wolverine. Yeah, yeah Wolverine's, Wolverine's cooler. Yeah, Wolverine's, Wolverine's cooler. Wolverine. He's the yeah. cool guy. <laughs> well, because she's not even like really like rogue with the Carol Danver powers. No, yeah. Like yeah. That, you know, um, I think there was some kind of setup for that. But anyway, which can she maybe take? The power. Oh wait, I know. I'm supposed to like. Uh, oh, you Marvel love Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she could take the powers from Miss Marvel. You know that might happen yeah. with this whole universe going on and yeah. all that shit. So, um, Sabretooth attacks Storm. I don't know. Woman who controls the literal weather. I don't know if I'm sending Catman after and her. Like, scream for scream me. For me. I like. That was one of Roger Ebert's concerns. It's like. This woman could like end life on Earth, and she's always treated as like a C list yeah. character. Yeah. Like she could like destroy all of America yeah. if she wanted well, to. What's the thing? Like in in when she like the whole thing in the comics, she they thought she was a goddess. Yeah, in, mm. in they Africa. like worshipped she her. Was, yeah, yeah, she yeah. was, and because she, she can control the weather, and she brought like harvest to yeah. the people and stuff. Uh, however, um, Toad Man versus Cyclops. That's a good match because yeah. he just tongues the things off, yeah, and he's it's like. like Bleh. And Cyclops shoots his concussive blast. Yeah. Which might have some heat to it, but yeah. later movies, they make it just a laser beam. Well, and I'm yeah, like, that's not his power. Because what it's supposed to be is like the light reflects off his retinas and comes back out. Yeah. As that. That's why, like, if he just closes his eyes, it's like whatever. But also, too, he has the. The rose quartz or whatever yeah. is supposed to neutralize it. And like in the comics, the reason is like he had a head injury. Yeah. And that's why he can't turn it off. And I hated the movies where they're like, nah, he just always is shooting lasers out of his yeah. eye. It's like, well, that's that's kind of a dumb power. Because in the, you ever see X-Men Evolution? Yeah. There's a thing where uh, Magneto puts him into this thing that basically re lets him reach his potential and he's just able to control it like as much as he can. Yeah. But there's also too like in uh, Civil War, there's a part where they build sentinels specifically to the maximum powers of, of uh, the the mutants. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's this guy that can take over the minds of, of the mutants stuff. And he takes over the mind of Cyclops and has him shoot Bishop oh, with shit. like his full power. Oh, and Bishop's good. like, I can't hold it anymore. And he just shoots it and he vaporizes a sentinel. And they're mm -hmm. like... Okay, Cyclops has been lying about his power <laughs> because this thing was meant to take like the best he can, and he just turned it into dust. Yeah. Like 
it's but it was crazy. supposed to be like a force not yeah. like heat vision it's like yeah it's kind of like a particle beam almost like it's yeah like, it's, like it's just annoying like an x-men yeah. origin when it's just like a laser that yeah. burns neatly through stuff like that's yeah. not his power it's supposed to be like it it breaks things. yeah like it doesn't like it like blows something up right? yeah it's not like a hot it's not like superman yeah. so when him and gene are doing the hanky panky is he just there with his sunglasses on the whole time I he's I, really cool he's about like, it like, <laughs> I, assume, <laughs> I assume he wears like goggles so they don't fall <laughs> off goggles yeah instead. like no think about it like logis- face off? like logistically <laughs> he has to make sure they don't fall off so they have to have goggles. sex with goggles yeah. <laughs> He'd have to probably be on the bottom all the time, too, in case they felt like he's like, oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) She's just a vaporized husk husk of a person. The gene is problematic. She's into men that have the potential to kill her. Yeah. That's why she ended up getting into Wolverine. Yeah, she's like, she's like, like, oh, Scott can can laser me, but Wolverine can cut me up. It's like, Gene, forgive your father. (laughs) Forgive your father, Gene. I know your father is probably an asshole, but you should really forgive him. I don't know what's going on here. (laughs) What's the one, is it the second movie where where Mystique turns into Gene and goes and tries to bang Wolverine? Yes. Yes. Honestly, that's a pretty good deal right there. at one point, she turns into Rogue and Wolverine should be like, whoa, no. Oh, <laughs> that's illegal. She turns into Rebecca Romaine Stamos oh, yeah, at one point right. at, in the movie, too. So Anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so the fight scene in the train station is cool. Magneto shows up, rips the train apart. And yeah. I do like that. He's just like, oh, are you metal guy? Yeah. I like, like, Wolverine's yeah. like, oh, shit. I love, I love it all these movies. He back and his, like, arms smash yeah. into the, like, he's a cool. Yeah, yeah, I love all back. these movies. I thought movies. his claws were going to actually, like, cut everything yeah. on the way yeah. back whatever. No, it, like, just smacks he him, like, smashed breaks his yeah. hand. Yeah, it's, like, crazy. Like, in, in these movies where they're like, Wolverine's most badass, and then this elderly guy shows up. He's like, who, that guy? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. There's multiples, like, in X-Men 3 when he throws him through the forest. He's like, all right, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> You're literally the easiest person I can beat up. <laughs> Can't kill him, but he could beat him up. Yeah. That was, a, um, you ever watch the Pete Holmes thing where it's yeah, like yeah, he's like, we literally yeah. fight a guy who controls a battle, you're useless. <laughs> yeah, the man made of the one weakness that our only I love, enemy. I love the one with uh, Angel, and he's like, what are you, Bird? Yeah, <laughs> what bird. are we going to do, you're a Bird? Oh, yeah. okay, Bird Man. <laughs> you're a bird. Anyway, um, but I do like, he's like, who said I wanted you? And he realized uh, he wants Rogue. Yeah. Now, this part's a problem. He shoots her with a needle, but the needle doesn't have a plastic tip on it. So that thing's just out in the air. Rogue's going to get an infection. He doesn't even sanitize the needle. And then also, d- he leaves it on the floor. Someone could step on that. Someone could step on it. If they get on that train. I'm starting to think Magneto, not a good guy. This this standoff with Magneto and, like, Xavier. Yeah. Where uh, Xavier takes control of his, like, henchmen. <laughs> but then Magneto, like, points scene. all the guns at the cops and whatnot. And when I he- love when he picks up the... The cars and drops them. I love when he when when he shoots the bullet and it's just like this. Yeah, and the guy's yeah. Like, oh, and he's like, I can't hold them all. Yeah, yeah he's like slowly, he, like letting yeah. it go. He literally tells her like, Hey, Charles, I don't think I can stop them all. That you might want to rethink it. That's one now, of the coolest scenes. Charles in the movie. fucks up because he can't read Magneto's mind because the metal helmet. Mm-hmm. But Charles fucks up because he should be like, Oh, hey, while I'm in Toad and Sabretooth's mind, let me see what their plan is. He just never gets around to it. Yeah. He was um, thinking fast. He was thinking fast. He was thinking fast. Would you have thinking- done it in the same situation? Your your adrenaline's going, Tony, and you're so much better than you know Xavier, what? apparently. You know what? <laughs> I would fuck up, too. I would fuck up, too. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a rough situation. So when have it, you ever had to do a hostage situation? When have you true. dealt with one, huh? That's true. So Xavier <laughs> reluctantly lets them go. Uh, take Rogue. He's a little upset by this. Um, next, they're thinking of, like, what, what does he want Rogue for? So Wolverine wants to just head out and look for her because uh, they can't find her. And Storm, with her African accent, which disappears which yeah, goes away, yeah, Which I always wondered about, too. Isn't it like a Wanda thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is she code switching? But yeah. it's like, why does she? But she uses the. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I am Wanda. I am from <laughs> Russia or whatever she says. Like, or from Sol- They made fun of that Slovenia. in uh, WandaVision where she's like, that accent comes and goes, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, Storm is like, hey, you got to help and fight. And he's like, you're trying to save people who hate and fear us, which is like the common uh, phrase for X-Men yeah. in a world that hates and fears them. And then Fishman Kelly shows up and he's like, please help me. I'm a yeah. fish man. <laughs> uh, yep. He's like, I'm just exact like line. <laughs> yeah, they go into his memory and they see, they see more of what happens. So Magneto uses the machine. It makes you a mutant, but it almost killed Magneto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so they're like, all right, Magneto's plan is to... 
use this thing on everyone. We don't know where or when he's going to do it, but the mutation doesn't hold. The cells break down. They're all going to die. Yeah. And Magneto doesn't know that. Yeah. And they're like, what did he want Rogue for? Well, well, he it's only, like, they only find out that the mutation doesn't break is because Senator Kelly turned it up. No, no, it's before fucking... she's because they do a test on him. She's like, his cells are breaking down. He's oh, not dead okay. yet. Yeah. And he turns into just a. Yeah. He turns um, into a big old sploosh. Yeah, after this scene is when he turns into a puddle of water. <laughs> he's like holding Storm's hand and just... Bleep, he's like... Bleep, yeah, bleep, which like, is ah! gross. I'd be like, oh my God, it's probably like what gets in a blister. I'd imagine that's <laughs> like what it is. He's just so, that now. They realize because Magneto almost died, he's going to transfer his power to Rogue because the, the the machine is controlled by his power. Yeah. So she could die and just die for the cause and get martyred, uh, which is kind of fucked up. Wolverine calls him out on that in a little bit. Um... But they have to figure out where he's going. Uh, Xavier uses the Cerebro machine and it fucks up his head. He's Filled like, ah, diarrhea. my brain! Filled with diarrhea. The diarrhea in my brain! <laughs> <laughs> diarrhea brain. What a shithead. <laughs> but I'm it's not really diarrhea, everybody. It's actually like some sort of I don't know what the hell he I don't know. I don't know. Well, they, like, no, they're like, he's like, yeah, it's it's Magneto. He's like, oh, I've got this thing. Uh, give, put this in Xavier's brain and it fucks um, him up. Yeah. So then we get a shit. <laughs> we get like the only like real character moment with Cyclops that's not him being cucked where he's talking to Xavier. He's like, you're Ooh. like a dad to me and I'll make sure they're okay. And I'm like, oh, that's a nice little moment. Yeah. And then Jean's fixing Cerebro and the Cerebro, which she mentioned earlier, could kill her because she's yeah. not that strong telepathy wise. And she tries it. And she finds out where they're going. Yeah. They're going to Ellis Island. For the summit, they're going to mutate all the world leaders and send them home as mutants. So he thinks that's not really what's going to happen. They're just going to die in two days. Yeah. Uh, so they're like, all right, we're going to go take off and find them. And then they cut out a scene here where they give uh, Wolverine Cy one of Cyclops' suits. So Cyclops had a suit with just yellow trimming that looked like Wolverine print. Just You just had that around. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. <laughs> it's like it just didn't really work for me. Yeah, you know, like he's like the Yellow's yellow. Yellow's not my color. Yeah. <laughs> he's like the yellow trim. Not into it. Not into it. Uh, and they all get into the Blackbird, which I always call the Axe Jet, but I guess it's the Blackbird. Um, and we get the famous line, like, oh, you people actually go out in these things? Yeah. What would you prefer? Yellow spandex. Oh! When it, so when that happened, I we all laughed. Everyone at the theater was like, uh -huh. yeah. And it's like, and then <laughs> exactly one guy that. went, yeah, I would have like that in the theater. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, and when they're talking about like the plan, they have this pin needle art. I'm sure Zack Snyder was there and was oh, like, oh, yeah. one day Krypton will have only pin needle pin art. Needle art. <laughs> yeah, I always thought that was cool though, the way it like, yeah. looks. It's really neat. It's kind of weird. They use I'm like that feels like a Magneto thing, right? I don't think that would be yeah. an X Men thing. <laughs> Or, like, then it ends up being, like, fucking Wakanda. Yes. They use it, too. Yes. Um, Toad pancaking people is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Because he jumps on the security guard. Then they show the security guards just like a puddle. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, oh, gross. Like crumples them. <laughs> uh, and then Magneto's doing his bad guy speech. He's like, America didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be. It was supposed to be awesome. And it's like, hey, by the way, Rogue, you're going to die. But it's cool. You're going to be a martyr for the cause. And I'm pretty sure that's what terrorist leaders tell yeah. their subordinates. Like, hey, you're going to die, but it's for a good cause. Yeah. And it's like, again, I'm, the more I watch this movie, the more I'm like, I don't think this Magneto guy is on the level. No. He's a little <laughs> bit wrong. He's a little bit wrong. So, yeah, uh, they fly off to the Statue of Liberty. In their Blackbird, and like Rogue is using, I don't know, Storm is storm using uses like the, the storm. The storm sounds like a storm's coming. <laughs> yeah, there's a little. It gets a little punny at some point. Yeah. It's like, all right, let's let's reel it's this fine. in. It's fine. Let's reel this it's in just a little bit. It's 1990. No, it's ni It's yeah. 2000. 2000. Yeah. So I heard the story with uh, when they got to Ellis Island, their leather suits weren't fully broken in yet. So that scene where they're like trying to like jump over the wall, they like all had a hard time doing it because they couldn't bend right. They're like, oh they're God. like, <laughs> yeah, because they like, like they're like, we literally just put the suits on. They're like, all right, go jump over that wall. It's like, well, we can't physically move. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, like, and all it's during like wearing a baseball film, glove. Actually, during all this <laughs> filming, like, um around the Ellis Island stuff, they had to put, like, jackets around Mystique because she was just freezing. I mean, yeah, she's oh naked. <laughs> yeah, she's paper mache. Like, yeah. And that's, like, it. Yeah. Um, so I really like when they go into the uh, Ellis Island, the um, metal detector goes off and he does yeah. the middle claw. I mean, that's funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You're saying the puns are bad and then you're like, ha ha, metal claw. No, that's the pretty The middle funny. claw was pretty good, though. So, yeah, but it was pretty The puns like, are yeah. fine. So Mystique <laughs> attacks them pretending to be Wolverine. 
Does she have a healing ability? Because her fingers straight up get cut off, and then she's fine a second she's later. Like, ah. Yeah, she, yeah, she makes that first noise. Of, I don't know why she's trying to fight him. She doesn't have adamantium. Yeah, she wouldn't her know claws that. like be just like floppy when she hits him? They're like, Pleh. yeah. Like, <laughs> but I do like, like this sequence because like they don't know which one's the real one. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then like Wolverine like secludes himself. So and then it she like climbs anyone. backwards up. The oh yeah, when she oh that scene of her like doing the spin kick and morphing yeah. is awesome. That scene was actually that was I no. remember in the theater seeing that and being like, holy shit, that was really yeah. like. And, and then it was like it was hard to even like wrap your mind around how it like it, it just looked yeah. so good. And then of course we have to get rid of Cyclops, so Toad just kicks Cyclops out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a part two in this. Well, it get we'll get to it, yeah. but there's a part I gotta I have to address when we get to okay. it. Okay, so he kicks Cyclops away, locks him up, and then he vomits in Jean Grey's face, yeah, which still like, cracks Whoa. me up. <laughs> and I love this scene when there's a part where like an explosion happens, but Jean is like running. Yeah, past, yeah, she's like. like oh! <laughs> she can't do anything. Um, so yeah, he fights Storm, knocks her down an elevator shaft, which happens to have a pole, and then he poses with the pole for no one. Yeah. Because he's Darth Maul. Yeah. Jean Grey gets saved. Cyclops puts his uh, laser goes, blast on the wall. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, pew. It's just enough to blow the weird... Yeah, boogers it, off it's like of her solidified. Face. It's yeah. nasty. So, uh, Storm is alive. Yeah. She flies up. Yep. And she she fights Toad, and she has that fame. I was gonna so say, what's that fucking line? Okay, this is it. This is actually what I, I'm glad we're we're bringing this up because I hate this line. <laughs> and I and the thing is, when I first heard it, I thought what she was gonna say, which in my opinion, I think what I was gonna say is makes more sense because she says what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the punchline is the same thing that happens to everything every, else. Yeah. I thought she was going to say, it croaks. That was and so, that's so him. much better. And zaps him. And that's what I thought it was going to be. And then she says, like, the same thing that happens to everything yeah. else. I'm like, what? It's like, well, no, so, some things don't get hurt by lightning. Like, yeah, like, you mean like a lightning rod? Yeah, like they it, have lightning rods that are totally, yeah. It puts it into yeah. the floor? Yeah. That's not what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he went, wee! Yeah. Right, My house? He's dead. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like, really? That's your line? The yeah. same thing that happens to everything else? It's pretty terrible. What? And I was like, who wrote? At first David I was like, Hater. oh, this is going to be awesome. Well, now, like, was that David Hayter or was that Christopher McQuarrie? Was that left over from Ed Solomon? Or was Halle Berry like, I have a great idea. Yeah. I have this <laughs> line. Can I say this? And they're like, what? I guess they're that's like, true. Sure. It's kind of like, wh why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side, like it's like, yeah, that's the answer. Like you think it's you think it's going to be something clever, and then it's something completely not. Clever. It was a like, letdown. But yeah, I I, um, I hated that part, and it yeah. actually made me like I was confused about that line. Yeah. For years of my life, because I I still really I, thought I there was something. Earlier, I was just like, yeah, I thought there was something eh. deeper about it, and it's no, no it's just it no. is what it is. There's it's face value. Yeah. The same thing that happens to everything else. So. uh Right after that, Storm is talking to Wolverine, but it's not Storm, it's Mystique! Because I guess he can smell her now. Yeah. yeah. He caught her scent and he stabs her and she's like turning into different people, like yeah. the, like the T-1000, like in its <laughs> death, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I love in the T-1000 dies, it's just water and he's like <laughs> splashing everywhere. Like it looks like he's having a fun um, time. <laughs> I love when he shows back up and Cyclops says, prove it. He's like, you're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, all right, good enough for me. <laughs> what? Do, but anyone would think that. that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> He's like, like, yeah, you're going to have to try harder than that, Wolverine. I want Everyone to knows I'm yeah. a dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they get to the head of the statue and they're chained up by Magneto. Chained up, but like, whatever. And they take a Cyclops. They take Cyclops's uh, thing off. They put his face right. right. That's yeah. a good. Yeah. That's a good tense moment. It's like, oh, dude, don't open your eyes. Yeah. The Wolverine, put him like this. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, let's point those claws somewhere else. Um, which I thought. And then was really Storm cool. can't zap anything, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Cyclops like Storm them. fry him, and he's yeah. like, "We're in a copper oh, conductor." Oh yeah, a <laughs> bolt of lightning <laughs> into a large <laughs> copper conductor. Good idea. And he's oh, and he's like, "I thought you guys lived, lived in, in a swivel." <laughs> it's, it's, it's so excellent line. See right there. Yeah, that's, that's a good line. Clever. How do you not mess? How do you yeah. mess up the the storm? But line? but I, I love they they tell him like, hey. Your plan's not gonna work, and he's like, "What? No, it'll be fine. They're all yeah. gonna go home as mutants." Yeah, they're like, no, they're gonna fucking die, you idiot! You're gonna cause more problems if all the world <laughs> leaders die. Yeah. Um. Uh. Well. Disagree. Anyway. Um. What? Wolverine calls him out. 
He's like, hey, you're, you're self-righteous. He calls him like a self-righteous. Yeah. No, no, he says, if you were so self-righteous, it'd be you in that thing. And it's just like, yeah, if this really mattered to you and you believed in it so much, you'd be the one in that machine. But, yeah. you know, he's, he, he doesn't want to die. He wants to stick around for everything. Um, so, yeah, he flies up. Uh, Sabretooth is there to watch them. So he's there. Sabretooth is literally there to, like, make sure Magneto is safe. Because, yeah. like, once he he's a bodyguard. the power, he's going to die. Um, this leads to an awesome fight. Like Wolverine gets out of, he like stabs himself to get out of his, uh, yeah. Yeah. And he like fights Sabretooth on the, um, Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Now there's a lot of cool things that happen in this fight scene, but I'm afraid since it's such a big scene and Disney now owns Fox that they'll copyright claim us. So we're only going to show footage from the CGI animatics they use. I love the storyboard. CGI it's the thing great. where, where They're they, the costumes. Yeah, where they didn't know what uh, Sabretooth the Magneto would look like. So they just look like the comics. So Jessica, if you could play some of the cool moments from this fight with the audio, but with the CGI animatics, <laughs> play it. <laughs> one scene, one scene we will show because I want to talk about it. Like the scene is awesome, and then there's the one dated scene <clears throat> where Wolverine is looping he around, around it and, and it's like a CGI him. body yeah. double. I'm actually shocked this movie doesn't have more CGI body doubles. Yeah, yeah. that scene though. When I'm it actually happened, shocked the first three movies don't have like an excessive use of CGI body no. doubles because after Spider Man, mm -hmm. like Daredevil is cringe. Yeah, with, and and Catwoman is cringe, and this scene. In this movie, it's this scene, and then I can think of like Toad earlier in the movie jumping, and that's mm -hmm. it. That's the only CGI no, body double. It didn't look that bad because they used yeah. it real quick. And it honestly, was real it quick. Was cool the way that like it, the camera followed him, and you kind of see the yeah. world go around. And then they use like the one part of the crown to cover up the uh, transition. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, cool. But it's an awesome fight. It's like oh, a pretty yeah. gnarly fight. Uh, but yeah, I like when he slides down, he like stabs his thing. He almost stabs Gene in the face. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where it like goes in and, yeah. like, and it's like through the thing. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> uh, but Sabretooth is like, Hey, you owe me a scream. And then I like yeah, how the they, storm. Yeah. Yeah. I like how he like throws the visor down, they aim it and shoot him out. And yeah. then he, well, he's not dead cause that wouldn't kill him, but he never shows up again. Yeah. Or does he show up in the X2 Wolverine game? <laughs> That was like in between movies. Oh, the one with Mark Hamill. Yeah, was Mark Hamill Sabretooth or Wolverine? No, he was Wolverine. He was Wolverine. Yeah, that's the one that... where it's like you, if you have your claws out, you don't heal. Oh, that's weird. That's the mechanic in it. Or you can have your claws out, but you don't heal. X Men game that came out after the Last Stand. Uh, that's oh, like what happens in between movies. Oh, I never played that one. Yeah, I have it on PS2. But yeah, it's weird that Sabretooth never comes back in the other ones. He, I think he wasn't. Well, that was the thing was the Wolverine's Revenge game wasn't supposed to be an X Men Two game. Oh, really? It was supposed to just be its own game. And then they it came out so close to X-Men 2 that they just called it X2 Wolverine. Oh, Revenge. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this scene is great because it's oh, like... you know what? I played that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a bad yeah. game. It was okay. This it scene's, was like, eh. This scene's pretty great because it's like all of them using their powers together. Yeah. They're like, hey, we can blast it, but we'll kill her. So it's like, all right, <clears throat> Storm, you're going to raise him with the wind. Gene, you're going to make sure he doesn't get thrown around. You're going to yeah. stabilize him. Wolverine, you're going to go up there, cut those rings and save her. And then Cyclops, if he fucks up, you're going to just shoot the whole thing. Yeah. But Cyclops is like, you know what? I'll shoot the old guy instead. Yeah. Uh, and it's cool to see them all working together, which yeah. is like what a classic X-Men story is. The part too, like where when like when Magneto's bending Wolverine's claws. Yeah. Oh, like that, that every time they do that, looking. it feels like it hurts. Yeah, because they're like going like grrr, and they're yeah. making that sound that's like almost like a crunching grindy yeah. sound. Yeah. It was oh my <clears> god. Also, was... I do love that shot earlier of Magneto raising himself with the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so yeah, they stop the machine, but Rogue is like dead. Yeah. And I love this sequence where Wolverine like touches her, try to get the power to start, and then like he basically like <clears> sacrifices himself. I love when the blood comes out of his yeah, back all and everything. Of his cuts from the fight just start yeah. showing up. I also like the lingering uh after the white glowy beanie thing yeah. comes out, whatever, uh, lingers on Jean for a little bit. Yeah, so a little hint for Phoenix. Coming they were in. The, in movie one. They set up the dark Phoenix with that. Yeah, because in the next film, she's like, I haven't because uh, whatever her further mutation was unlocked by the machine. Yeah, and she's I feel like, like that happened with everybody, too. No, I think everyone else. Is no, fine. I feel like everybody also got like a little more powerful, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe because uh, like some Toad people definitely didn't. Get some people more definitely like did more in the next movie, so maybe be like. Hmm. I think they just found more 
situations for them to use more of their powers. Shut up. But Jean is definitely, this oh, is damn. the origin of the Phoenix, which yeah. I thought that was really clever. I'm like, that's cool. And then the second movie, it's even cooler. Yeah, when you see the at the yeah, end. Yeah, then, and then the third and one. Then the th yeah, and which um, honestly, like, too, when I saw the second movie at the end, I was like, oh, like, I almost yeah. lost my mind in theaters. I feel like the Phoenix is cursed. Yeah, they yeah, tried it I again and they did. fucked yeah. up again. Yo, honestly. And it sucks because, like, I like uh, Sophie Turner as hmm. Jean Grey. Well, you know what sucked about the Dark Phoenix movie? Well, one, they she did. She was a good Jean Grey. Though. Yeah. yeah. The one, they did the whole space thing, given her powers, but they already established in the previous yeah. film she was the Dark Phoenix. Yeah. But two, that was that writer. It was the same writer for X-Men 3 trying to make up for the mistakes oh, he made. Oof. But then the studio interfered so much that mm -hmm. it then got fucked up again. And I bet he's... I hope to God by the time they try it a third time, like he doesn't go, guys, I'll get it right this time. It's yeah. like, no, no, go away, go away. I mean, You're you hurt. had too many things going on. Like you had one, they knew, uh, okay, this is it because the MCU beat us out and we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. Also, you're getting sold. Two, Jennifer Lawrence like, hey, uh, I, I like want an Oscar anymore. and yeah. shit now. Yeah. I don't need to be this. Like, I, yeah. I'm cool. I ain't putting on all this damn makeup this time. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Only in the, her first movie does she wear all the makeup yeah. and the next two it becomes less. Um... Yeah, so they all get away. Mystique impersonates a security guard, which I thought was cool. Like yeah. that's yeah. cool you see sequel the bait. Stab yeah, or... you see the stab. Um, that was a good little nod. Yes. Oh, and also <laughs> Rogue now has the white strip yeah. of hair, which she has from the comics. Um, Xavier finally wakes up, uh, and Wolverine's still sick and dying. But then he gets better back mm -hmm. in the room where he met Jean and yep. fell in love. I do love when she's like, Yeah, Rogue's fine. She took on a couple of your personality traits for a while, which means like rope. And I thought this was setting up because the next time when we see her, she looks like a little edgier. She's like wearing black yeah. stuff. I'm like, oh, I bet in the next one, she'll be like the sassier jive talking, uh, not jive talking, but sassier <laughs> talking oh, like uh, rogue yeah. from the comics. And she, she kind of has an attitude adjust, like attitude change in the next two, but. It never goes that far. Yeah. Nah, she's still kind of lame. Yeah, she never gets like someone's. Yeah. And I know they couldn't do Captain Marvel because they didn't own it. So that was yeah. kind of. But like, I. Yeah, I was yeah, kind of let down it, by that. You could have just made up another character for he, her to steal the power from. I mean, yeah. in X Men Evolution, too, that, that was more like. X Men Evolution was more based on the movie, but it wasn't yeah. fully. It's, it's kind of like how the Street Fighter cartoon was. Yeah. Where they, they kind of made it almost like an unofficial mm. sequel, but she was like goth. Yeah. In X-Men Evolution. Which was fine for the time. Yeah, to be honest, sense. I used to love X-Men Evolution. X-Men Evolution was yeah, good. I was super into it. I wish uh, they didn't even have to use Captain Marvel or make up another character. They could have just said, oh, her powers just appeared after the beam me thingy happened. That could be too. That could have yeah. been, right. like, yeah. been very easy. Like, yeah. oh yeah, like she's Apple flying and all of a sudden she has her. strength. Yeah. 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 yeah, something unlocked her power or whatever, yeah. but they didn't do that. Um... I do like that, uh, what do you call it? Mystique is pretending to be the senator. And yeah. they, I'm glad they revisit that in the next one. I'm like, oh, yeah. guys, guys, wait, pause. <laughs> Yellow eyes. Yep. Yellow but, eyes. But I, like, I like that she's just like, oh, man, I was wrong about all that mutant stuff. Mutants are great. I love them now. They're my best friends. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> so Wolverine says goodbye to Rogue, and he's off to Canada because he's told that there's a base there that they need to figure out. Yeah. That, that might have a key that to might his have origin. Something, yeah, yeah. And the Alkali uh, Lake base. Alkali, yeah. And, um, you know, I'm sure by the time Wolverine gets there, his his hair is going to change drastically. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, they did uh, the scene of, like, Wolverine going to Alkali Lake in the second one. That was, like, a reshoot. And they, his hair was different, so he's wearing a wig, and his hair is like way taller, and his face looks thinner. <laughs> it's because he spent the whole time riding all the way from Westchester. Oh, that's to, what it is. The, so the I, motorcycle, on a motorcycle, and it yeah, and it and took of course, a long time, so his hair grew a bit. Hair, and, and of course, yeah, on his yeah. way out, Kieran, he steals Cyclops' yeah. motorcycle. So he steals his motorcycle, but I don't know about that because according to this comic book. Uh, uh, where is it? Oops. Here we go. Cyclops actually left a note that says "Good luck, Wolverine" on his motorcycle. And oh no! And Jean Ooh. Grey was creepishly watching from a she window. Says, Goodbye, Logan. I'm a, I'm 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 gonna miss you a lot. <laughs> it's a comma a h comma m. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Like, is what? that Jean or is that yeah, I think Rogue? It's got red hair, doesn't Why is it? She red like hair? I'm gonna miss you a yeah, lot. See? 
I feel like there's no way that's Jean. I feel like that's supposed to be Rogue, but they made her hair. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it is okay. So Rogue, they yeah, she has red hair in this. For oh, well, weird. Sure. Huh. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Unless it is, I don't know, Jean Grey all of a sudden just, like, developed a weird accent for some reason. Of course, she's trying to talk like Actually, more. that is really confusing because they did, like, what the fuck? And then, like, look, like, if you look at it, it just, so the scene when he's shooting her face, it just looks like he's melting wait, her wait, face. Wait, I like Zeke. That's <laughs> so so Zeke. They didn't draw, like, the green boogers on her face. It's just skin color, so it looks like Cyclops is melting Jean's <laughs> face with the laser. Magneto's outfit was definitely not that purple. Yeah, anyway. it's weird because she has, okay, so she has, like, shorter red. Okay, so, so Jean's hair is in a ponytail. But Rogue's hair is not in a... So it is Rogue. Okay. I, I, I was going to say that is really confusing. Okay. Goodbye, Logan. So, <laughs> and then the film ends with yeah. the last shot of Magneto in his plastic prison. Yeah. Which we will find out later in... Were they playing in chess? A, yeah. In later films was already built in the 70s, apparently. Yeah. Um, and it's in the bottom of the... By the, the way, by the way, if everything is canon, man, between 1990 and 2000... Magneto aged a lot. Yeah, he, he didn't did, age for thirty years, <laughs> and then in ten years, it's like the aging caught up yeah. with him. It's and the exam- sun. <laughs> That's the, uh, I wonder if they should have. They should have did a thing where it's like, oh, we were once on a magic island that made us uh, younger for longer, and then it wore off. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, it was uh the them nineties man. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> the nineties really <laughs> aged them. They're like, oh man, they took the death of Kurt Cobain really hard. Yeah. They're like, oh, I just don't want to go. I'm so depressed. Yeah. He was a mutant, by the way. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> so yeah, they're playing chess, uh, which is a common theme with the, for the rest of the series. Yeah. And he's like, oh, one day the war is going to happen and uh, Xavier will stop him. And then the yeah. movie ends. And it's great. Yeah. It was great. It is. I know the second one is better, but this oh, is, yeah. this no, is this probably, a- this feels like the most x Men of yeah. them, where it's like, this is the mission. We got to stop Magneto. Let's all use our powers together. Uh, this feels the most X-Men out of all of them. The second one is a better movie, though. Uh, but no, I love this movie. I still love it. Nothing's really dated for me. I don't mind the black suits. Some of the CGI is a little dated. Some of the CGI is like a little dated. Like the uh, Toad's yeah. tongue sometimes. I'm like, Ugh. The yeah. black suits are a problem now, knowing that we can get comic accurate suits that don't look ridiculous. It's fine. I think now, though, we can. Then yeah. you know maybe when, when then it was but it's funny because like Spider Man just looked like Spider Man yeah. like a year later and it's I, like, you can't you can't make a weird movie suit Spider Man and not have it look like Spider Man people would yeah. really yeah. kill yeah. for that and the um, X Men I think it was kind of like X Men were a little bit fringy they weren't yeah. exactly Batman or Spider Man yeah they probably didn't have a huge you know budget and also too superhero movies other than Batman were completely like unproven yeah nobody knows if this is gonna work or not like when I yeah. saw that it was coming out. The, the way I saw it was I just saw the standee at a movie theater that was just the X and I freaked out. Yeah. I'm like, I can't believe they're I still making X Men. That was so cool. I never thought I would ever see X Men, the movie, yeah. in like a big budget theater, you know? Yes. Batman was kind of a given. You you know, mm. I, since I was a little kid, there were Batman movies. Yeah, you and know? you knew Superman was on the way. He got stuck in development hell, though. Yeah. Uh, luckily, we had the TV show to hold us over. Yeah. Lois uh, and Clark, you mean? I loved the Dean Cain show. I liked it, too. Dean Cain turned out to be kind of a weirdo nowadays, but... That's he's selling, his favorite Superman. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's selling, like... Uh, actually, did you go to his... Uh, <laughs> Joanna, did you go to his uh, real estate seminar that was in Philly like of a few course. weeks back? Of course. How to sell a house? Oh, I like, feel bad. Like, he was on. <laughs> I'm gonna sell houses. He was in um, the first like season of Supergirl, and then his politics became problematic, so he was not invited back. Uh, there's nothing problematic. Well, because same thing that, with Kevin. Kevin Sorbo was in season two of Supergirl. Oh That's right. Then Donald Trump won the election, and Supergirl decided all their stories needed to like save the world through politics and that ruined that show. So Kevin Sorbo and Dean Kane suddenly just disappeared from that show and Can never came back. Can you imagine your name is Dean Kane or Kevin Sorbo and you're like, well, I guess in my path in life is I have to get ripped by the time yeah. I'm 20 and I have to play a what muscle I, person. What I did like, though, is someone was like, when they were trying to recast Superman, it's like, it's time we get an Asian American Superman. Dean Kane's like, Hi. Yeah, that's true. We literally right? did it in the nineties. So we've already got it. Was got he, it? He, I think he was like part Japanese or something. Yeah, right? Dean Kane. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So enough about Dean Kane. Yeah. <laughs> X Men. It's great. Brian Singer did a great job. Allegedly, he's done some awful things, but when it comes to movies, he's done a great job. Uh. Yeah. And I had a great time. It led to an awesome sequel. And then, as usual, they 
with most of these trilogies, they fucked up. They botched it. Yeah, by the third one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll get to those one day. Dark Phoenix theme's nice in it. It is. It is. Uh, yeah, and that's it from us. I mean, I wish Patrick Stewart wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have pulled the stunt that he did. Stop thought- inviting celebrity guests. Yeah, no more Tony. You're I a mean- monster. I mean, no, I think he's purposely doing this. I think he literally wants to kill everybody. He's just killing everybody. No, I just, they all just, they get a little too excited. They get a little too excited to be on this show. Look, a lot of these, a lot of these celebrities, you know, their star is starting to fade. Mm -hmm. Robert Pattinson, how popular is he these days? He got a little excited (laughs) to be on the show. Patrick Stewart, uh, he's like, he's like, man, I. We finally get the best Batman movie ever made, and now we're never getting any other Batman movies because you killed him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fine, I just he's a vampire. Oh, that's just true. hey, guys, guys, superhero actors. If I invite you to the show, just use the door. Be yourself. You don't have to be your character. We respect you as an actor. Okay. Hopefully, you know we'll we'll see what happens with X Men too. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll make sure to invite. I'll talk to the person before I invite them <laughs> to the show. Mm-hmm. No. Anyway, that is it from us. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're listening to us on your podcast app of choice, please leave a review. Uh, we're trying to get into the top 100 of uh, podcasts. Uh, leave a voicemail. Send stuff to our uh, PO box. Yep. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, yep. Kieran, you playing any X Men games in the future on Twitch? Yeah, probably. You can check me out at uh, twitch.tv slash Kieran. That's K I five E's and then R N. Okay. And uh, let us know if you thought this movie was excellent or excrement. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, I think Capcom does a great job when they're adding like collaboration characters. What is, what? <laughs> I've never been able to extend this way. <laughs> oh god, I gotta get the helmet on. Oh god, oh god. Wait a minute, our guy's a bad guy the whole time. I just think it's crazy that I'm better at video games now than when I was like 16. That is how you fix all the problems with all these games. I feel like toy distribution is so different than it used to be. They re-sculpted over the chest. They gave him a flak jacket over it. I laugh when I see Among Us, but I'm not having fun inside. I'm just, it's a reflex. <laughs> no, you took my joke! <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos.